Louder! And it's time for the Gore and More Podcast. Gonna have a good time. Gonna have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We're going on now. A ball break, ball walking break. in and head in the moonlight. The moonlight. We'll be the sweet soul there. I swear, we'll never part. Going on a ball break, ball running break. in the sand, feeling all right. And what is going on, Gorehounds? Welcome to another fantastic episode of the Goremore Podcast. I am not. Hey, I hear us live. <laughs> oh, shut up! I fucked up. You're good, dude. It's good. Welcome to the shit show, everybody. It wouldn't be a good episode without a fuck up here, too. You know, that's how we do. Uh, I am your not so mean fluff master spree, Big Johnny D, bringing the shit show in. However, I do not bring the shit show in alone. For with me, as always, are my beloved horror brethren. Started off well, we don't have our Dark Lord yet. Hopefully, he should be coming. He is having some technical difficulties at the moment, but I got my other homies with me. So we're going to, uh, for what, three straight weeks in a row? Three man? Straight we got the weeks in a row. We got the doppelganger Kanga Banga that I mean, saucy Aussie, Mr. Brody Kane. How are y'all fucking doing? Fantastic, dude. And thank you for being here again, homie. Thanks for having me. Fucking right. We have the Duke of the Dead, the host with the ghost, Lord Scuba Cabra, the Dean of the Deceased, Mr. Steve Vasquez. What is going on, baby? Yeah. And you know him as that killing machine, but we like to call him that delicious meat mountain, Mr. Bob Amone. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the shit show. That's right. Today is February 19th, 2024. And well, we have a very fun and uh, yeah, just a very fun episode today. I have no no, no other way to really describe that until we actually get into it, but I'm excited to talk about it, man, because it was a first time watch for me. And Same that'll here. Be ta- yeah, that'll be uh, 2021's Willy Wonderland. But before we do that, we're going to do something we haven't done in a few weeks. <clears throat> because, well, we've had a fucking solid roster of people. Mm-hmm. And it's not a bad thing. You know, I mean, Heather, if you're out there, what's oh, right there. Look at that. Heather, how there you she doing? is. She's the first one. She, she fucking knew, you, dude. Yeah, she fucking knew. <laughs> what's up, hon? How are you? Uh, yeah, so we're going to do short... Uh, Keep it nice, short, and sweet. If, if we got anything, I don't have much to say, but I'm sure these boys probably have a lot. But uh, Scubas can. Uh, I don't know if I can honest? hit it anymore. It's been oh, so it's long. been a few I know, it's been like a while. Let's we're go. Gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna Scubas was out like two weeks for that, too. <laughs> yeah, so it's so been like a month. It's been yeah. a month, a little over a month since I've had to do this. So mm. without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your. Ooh. Damn, dude! Mm-hmm. I just turned mm-hmm. my headset I felt down. That, that was the bottom of my balls. That felt good. <laughs> that was fantastic, dude. Ah, thank you for that. That was a ball jiggler, Brody. How the hell you been, my homie? Ah, uh, yeah, not fucking bad, mate. I um, I do apologize in advance if I'm a little bit uh, tired today. I've been up all fucking night trying Ooh. to deal with an echidna. Now, an echidna. Really? Is- yeah, so, oh, mate. Fucking yeah, no, knuckles, fuck, man. Oh, it's so fucked. So, essentially, right, the dog won't shut the fuck up. All it does is bark, bark, bark all fucking night trying to eat this fucking thing. Stupid because it's got spikes on its back for a start. Mm-hmm. Right. Anyway, the first night, it was in our yard. I had to try and dig it away. It wouldn't. They're so fucking stubborn. They are strong as fuck. So then I had to try and put water under it. So eventually it would crawl itself into the neighbor's house. Anyway, (laughs) that was the first night. And that was their problem now. Fuck that shit. (laughs) Yeah. Well, no, because it actually come back to fucking haunt me because I thought it fucked off. The second night, which is, sorry, last night, God, um, the dog from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. wouldn't shut the fuck up because it was digging itself back into our yard and it was trying to dig underneath the fence. So I've been up all night trying to deal with this shit and, um, yeah, I'm a little bit tra- uh, trashed at the moment. Eventually got rid of it. I think I sent you a video of the actual thing. I think you did. Yeah. Um, 
Yes, I have a review. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's oh, it's just so fucking annoying. So when you said knuckles, is that what knuckles is essentially meant to be? An echidna? Yeah, yeah that's knuckles? what he's supposed to be. Yeah. True. Fuck, I didn't even know that. That's right. But um, yeah. So other than that, nothing really else. It's just I've been dealing with this stupid fucking echidna. That was it. But yeah, no, I got rid of it. I put it down to the creek and. Now it's fucked off down there to mate or do something. So, because it's mating season here for him. And um, yeah, other than that, hopefully I'll get some fucking sleep tonight. Fucking right. worry about this damn dog. So, other than that, gentlemen, I have been very boring. I actually watched, well, obviously yep. watched this film. It was fantastic. Um, but yeah, really keen to talk about it with you guys today. And hold uh, on, I got yeah, Brody's video right here. The size of this fucking thing. Yeah, the fucking relocated. Where the hell is he? Where the fucking cunts are these? Oh. Yeah, they're pretty. Um, what all, all they do is they just dig. They dig a massive hole and then they just stick their spikes up. So as a defense mechanism. Okay. And and when I got up the other night to see what was going on, I could see like a ripple effect in the ground. I'm like, what the hell is this? I've seen too many fucking horror movies. This is not going to end. <laughs> <laughs> and and then the dog was trying to eat it. Like the dog was trying to eat the spikes on its back. So I had to grab him, but because typical staffies, you know, they just got that in them. You know, they're bred in them to kill, sort of thing. So I had to grab him out of the way, fucking throw him in the shed, and yeah, deal from there. So other than that, though, gentlemen, real quick, not much. Up. What, reason one million and one. Not to visit Australia right now. Bullshit. <laughs> I still want to, dude. I don't care. Yeah, I do too. It just makes. I mean, no, no. I, I want to, but with my luck, I'm gonna step off the plane. I'm gonna say like most, right most there. of the shit that people are just like, fuck that. That's what makes me want to go to Australia. The only thing I would say is like, the Huntsmans can straight fuck off. Yeah, but that'd be like my probably my only gripe. Like, I would definitely oh. scream like a little girl and fuck kangaroos. <laughs> yes, yes. will drown you. Fucking no right one will, will, bro. Me. No one likes them here because they just, when you hit them in your car, they do wipe your car off. They can come through the front windscreen and claw your face off. They See, just, that's the crazy uh, thing is like, oh, so yeah. deer will do that here. And I know you guys obviously have your own deer and shit like that. But like yeah. white tailed deer and shit will do that here. But it's like, I can't imagine if the deer could literally box me back as it crashes through the fucking window, man. Like, that's a whole other level. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, they, these things, because sometimes when they jump and you hit them in your car, they slide up your front bonnet, obviously come through the front windscreen, but then they kick and they scratch to try and get loose. And then that's when people just get shredded. It like makes sense. Get dude, fucking you got out. fucking ruse doing like ninja moves on cars, dude, like doing tail slides, kicking out the windows. <laughs> <and> shit, <dude>. Starsky <laughs> and hot shit. Fucking right, but, bro. But yeah, um, other than that, yeah, no. Well, I sent John a video the other day. I was, I was dealing with a couple of fucking huntsmans and, yeah, no, not I showed that. that I showed that to some uh relatives of mine because they were bitching about because we get uh ah uh, fuck I'm brave for but we get like these brown thing, these like brown little fuckers, and yeah. they're probably like maybe get to about an inch, maybe an inch and a half big, you know what I mean? So like they're big in comparison to what we have, and I'm like, no. Come here. I'm like, watch this video. I'm like, this is what my buddy <laughs> looks up to every fucking day. And they're like, What? And I was like, Yeah. I was yeah. like, imagine that shit, dude. Yeah. Oh no. That, that that spot is nothing compared to the photo Chris Hemsworth put up with. That huntsman, he the huntsman's like this big, and he's just standing there. If you you can look it up, it's like he's just like this far away. No, I, from gotta, it. I gotta look. It's no. a massive fuck off huntsman. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, but other than that, Rebecca will be like, "We're moving." <laughs> and, and then John posted that fucking link for the trailer that's coming out. Is it Sting Bro. or whatever it is? Uh, Sting. Yeah, Sting, yeah. yeah, which looks really good. I reckon. I think it looks I, fun. I think it yes. looks fun, dude. We need, and you know what? That French one also looks solid. Yes. I don't know if that's the new kick. That's going to be the new vampire werewolf mummy alien kick. It's just yep, giant yep. spiders. I'm for it. That's fine. Absolutely. Uh, because I think I we need a resurgence of creature features, man. Bring them back out yep. for sure. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree with that. And I think there's also a remake of Arachnophobia coming. So. So we're getting I don't know if I need a remake, but I'll take it. I'll still watch it. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm going to watch it, but come on. Uh, yeah, but it makes me kind of go like, well, are you going to take the humor out of it? Like, what are you going to change? Yeah, I can already see it being too, like, 
serious. It's whitewashed is Loom House it. presents. Yes, no thank problem. you. I, I can already, I can already see the dark filter over it, and it's gloom and gloom. It's not going to be the Amblin Entertainment that we know and love, dude. Like, no, but that's, that's what right. made that movie also a good movie. Like it was something yeah. scary, but it also was. What was that fucking huge. movie that came out with the giant fucking spiders? It was like the, the eight legged the freaks. Oh, eight legged freaks. Eight legged freaks. Yes. Eight -legged freaks I love that's it. a fucking That's great movie. Movie. I love that shit. That French one looks like Yo, eight legged freaks, but scary. Like, yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, which I'm right. see, I see, yeah. see that that looked like the foreign arachnophobia one almost. Because yeah, it did, but then much it, big. big spiders at the end of the trail, and you're like, all right, now this is oh. the whole eight legged freaks territory. Like, where are we going with this? It's a mixture. Fucking right, but yeah, dude, solid man. So. Sucks you got to deal with the uh, that little fucking bastard echidna of that. Yeah, no, no eventually I, I fucked it off. Eventually, um, I just I, I chuck I didn't chuck it, but I sat it down. The <laughs> and um, so as soon as I let it out, it just started digging a hole down there, so he can um, do what he wants oh, down there. Just fuck straight up. All right, it, nice. uh, but yeah, other than that, sorry for taking up too much time, but uh, yeah. <laughs> What about uh, you, Mr. Vasquez? What have you been up to, mate? I have not been doing a goddamn thing. I was off today from work for President's Day. Um, I barbecued for my grandma, made some burgers on the pit, and just chilled out all day. That's literally all I did. And then this past weekend, my birthday's on Thursday. I'm going to be Woo! out of town, Happy so I'm not going to be able to celebrate uh, with at the bar like I usually do. So we did it this past Saturday. And it was the first birthday since I've been in the bar business that I did not get hammered, which was really weird. Everybody else was hammered, but I wasn't. So did you enjoy any? I I did not. Oh, well, I'm okay. like, I had one shot with Mel. That's far. Yeah. Hey, hey. Chad Daddy is here. Chad Daddy, Daddy is here. here. Hey, don't look so angry. You're on. <laughs> You're okay. here, buddy. Can you guys hear me? We yeah, can hear yeah. you. Good. My, it's, it's Chrome. Chrome isn't fucking working. Ah. No, so I am on my Firefox niche. browser, so I'm going to just have to fucking bookmark it. But you know what? Here. You look clear as shit right now. Like, yeah, this is the do. clearest I've ever seen you. Sexy yeah. boy. Sexy. Cue that Shawn Michaels theme music. Oh, no. I can't <laughs> see Scoob's face now. Right, let's get through that. Okay. So, what did I miss so far, guys? I'm really. No, then we're doing Slice no, of Life. We're doing Slice of Life. Brody did it. Scoob's is taking it right now. So. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so celebrating the birthday early. My buddy got me this really cool. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh oh. What are we holding? What are we holding? I mean, I am, but you can't see it. It's under the camera. Mine right now is under the bed, but you know. As your boys know, I fucking absolutely love Gremlins. So, yes, absolutely. My buddy got me. Hold on. God, how big is this thing uh, going to be? Him and his wife. That's what she said. Out of their way. <laughs> <laughs> him and his him and his wife went out of their way and got me the dancing gizmo. Yes, oh, he dances. Nice. So oh, he I moves. He moves with vibration. So you can leave him on, and as long as there's like no vibrations or anything going on. He won't yeah, it'll, it'll it'll go constantly. Harper has one. By the way, boys, look. Nice. Oh, oh, hard that. do. Is it? Hard do. Hard Baja blast. Hard Mountain Dew. So anyway, it, it's it's uh, Scuba's birthday this week. Uh, this week, so. Oh fuck off! <laughs> 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 How many times did we all hear this while we're watching this movie? Uh, yeah, was a... I lost fucking count. You know that what, was, though? I, I had this idea, by the way. Per Chad Dadder's request, I'm not going to say it right now, but I did keep count. Did you keep count? I did. did. You keep count? Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested to see where we all at, baby. I missed one. Out of all the six. I, I lost count. I, no, I fucking lost cool. count. I kept I, my phone up with my app. Kept counting, so, uh, I was more of counting how many uh, friggin' pop he was. Well, I kept checking that. I got that, too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that was it, man. And then just had a chill Sunday. Um, didn't really do anything. Hung out. Uh, I made some badass fucking... Mel wanted... 
So we've been eating nothing but like Mexican food. And she's like, I feel like I need greens in my life. Like we're just eating nothing but like solid Mexican food. We need healthy food in our life. And I said, okay, well, I'll make some baked chicken. And she's like, what? You can bake chicken? I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? You've never had baked chicken? And she's like, no, I didn't know you could bake chicken. And I'm like, what? You can bake anything. You can bake anything. You can bake bacon. (laughs) Yeah. So no, that's what I had for dinner. Baking bacon is actually the way better way to cook it. Oh yeah, because it comes and it feels crispy and doesn't shrink up the way it and does. You don't get grease fry. all up on and your nipples when you're trying to fucking fry bacon naked. You know what I mean? Yep. It just doesn't fucking work. Yes, dude. Oh my god, it's yeah, it hurts. So I went and bought some leg quarters <laughs> and I uh, seasoned them with some fucking Mrs. Dash lemon something or other fucking, and then I shoved carrots celery onion and lemon underneath the skin of the chicken threw it in the oven mm. baked it this is the best fucking chicken i've ever made in my life hell yeah and today fired up the pit like i said with for my grandma because she wanted barbecued hamburgers and now i'm here to talk about this movie with you boys it's one of my favorite movies hell chad yeah. daddy what about you well not much has been going on you know uh you know kind of the same shit different day what uh, what, what? Took a half a day off today because I had to get the car inspected, which it didn't pass, but I knew it wouldn't because it needs it needs tires. It needs, just needs two front tires and a light above the license plate, and I'm good to go. That'll do it. Yeah. So it's a lot. It could have been a lot worse. You know, I was worried it was going to be all four tires. Nah, just two tires. Uh, Steph and the kids went to uh, Great Wolf Lodge, which is an indoor theme park, indoor water park. Sorry, at the Poconos. So I stayed Zippy. home with the dog. Zippy. <laughs> so the kids got to do that, and I sat here. Yeah, you know, just kind of hung out at the house. I watched uh, Ant Man and Wasp: Quantum Mania. I have still it's yet good. to watch that. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. It's I don't okay. Know why? I it, just haven't. It's it's really, it's not bad. But watching it, it's like this is not Ant Man. This is like this is like a Fantastic Four story. It shouldn't have been an Ant Man mm-hmm. movie. Oh really? yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Because you know. The quantum realm, aka uh, the microverse. You know, that's, that's yeah, the yeah. Fantastic Four's territory. Yeah. So. yeah. And also TVA, else? right? Well, we don't know if the TVA exists in there yet. They haven't really said that that's. I thought that's where it exists, was the quantum realm. They, no, they that, never that ex- it exists outside of everything. Yeah. It's its own, uh, it's its own pocket universe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just thinking like the TVA is like a poly pocket in the middle of like all the MCU, just like. Oh, <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Why, Why do we go, that helps? We can go with the man one. What was the man? Do? What was the dude? Mighty one? Max. Mighty Max. Mighty Max. There you go. Yeah. That was a great cartoon, by the way. Cartoon was solid, man. Comics were cool too. But uh, hell yeah, man. Oh, and I also watched uh, one of Mr. Brody Kane's favorite movies over the weekend. Ooh, I don't mean the Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The Next Generation. <laughs> well, that's right. You did. Thoughts? Really? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. I, I hated it. it. I hated it. <laughs> terrible movie. Terrible. The, the, it was the story made no sense. The acting was absolutely atrocious. It was. Dude, it was like great. It was great. <laughs> play oh come on, Brody. You know he's right. Is that why the is that why the actors all the main school no. actors say they don't remember doing it because they do, but they just don't want to. They just don't want to talk about it. McConaughey embraces it now. There's does he? Numerous, now he yeah, does. N- numerous talk shows. Well, like, obviously why, back then he would have. Why did McConaughey have a bionic leg? That's never explained. Because <laughs> he's rapper stomper, bro. Rapper stomper. It was fucking weird. <laughs> Someone tried to say that that was like Leatherface from the first movie. I'm like, no, no, no. You're not going down that rabbit hole. That doesn't For exist. a movie called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not one single person was killed with a chainsaw. No, that, and that's true. <laughs> Isn't that like most of them? No. There's at least one or two in each movie. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got a valid point, but it's not a massacre still. A massacre as a whole. That's what I want to make. I want to make But none of, okay, chainsaw. well, in that case, none of them, none of them, no, none right, of them so are really I, chainsaw massacre. Other than no. the remake. Oh, uh, not the remake, the 2022. Yeah, okay, 22, 22 is definitely, 20, yeah, 22 yeah, is definitely legit a massacre. massacre. Yeah. Now, with the yeah, Robber Snopper boot, does he kill anybody with it? Yes. Okay, yeah. so that's solid. There's no like, it's not like it's just there for no reason. Like we get but it's it. off screen. Like you hear, it. you don't get. Yeah, okay. It. I wish we had a scene that death. 
That would have been and, so and, cool. And there's also no that movie has no gore. The first one barely has any, but it's yeah. more raw. This yeah, one's just all like, Joe Daddy. Eh, here you go. Joe Daddy. Um no That's fucking McConaughey should have got an Oscar for that fucking performance. I should have got an Oscar That's for sitting through it. <laughs> That's a stretch. Uh, That's a huge fucking stretch, Brody. You I should have gotten, <laughs> gotten a word. Oh, like try to, listen, that's, try, that's trying to stretch the two-incher to a seven-incher. That just ain't going to Hey, work. I told you that in private. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fucking it. I, I guess I still, have to wa- I still have to watch it, so. It, you don't have to watch you it. Don't. You don't. If you ever review don't. it, I'll, I'll explain why. I like it so much. And it's not because of nostalgia, but if we ever get to doing that episode one day or the year, I will politely explain to you why I enjoy it so much, Mr. Chad Day. I mean, we have done nothing. I would love to hear, ones, but though. that would be really scraping the bottom. We'd be, have, we'd have to be running out of a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. I All I'm saying is we reviewed Amityville 3. That's true. Yeah, don't even get me started. Yeah, get, yeah, so I mean, maybe we as throw much as I did not. As much as I did not like uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Next Generation, it's not Amityville 3 bad. I'll give it that. Really? That's, okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, because that's because so, now you're set. You're setting bars, so now I know where to kind of judge that. And I, I will say, you know, Renee Zellweger is a nerd. She was pretty hot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is yeah, she not bad? Dude, they had to both be young as fuck in that movie. Yeah, they were. Oh that god, they're like probably like first, twenty. Like, they're probably like early, one early of their 20s, first movies. Yeah. Word. All right, you know, well, we'll talk about that movie if we ever review yeah, it. If we, we ever get there, else we got to fucking do. Um, shit, what, did I do anything else this weekend? Uh, you watched a great movie. That's what you did, Chad. <laughs> yeah, Willie's Wonderland. Yeah, yeah buddy! <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty solid movie. I'm, I'm excited to talk about it. So, you know, I'm just going to wrap it up. I am done talking about what I've been up to. Bobby, take it away, bud. All right, I'll, I'll be short and sweet. So uh, Friday night was my Valentine's Day dinner with uh, my girlfriend. I cooked a dinner. We had braised short ribs, mashed potatoes, and she got a nice charcuterie board for us. So that was... Uh, Is that what you're calling it now? You're damn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> had a nice little slab on, a well, big slab. But you know what? Put up them. So we had that for Friday. Uh, Saturday was just chill. We had snow here, so we went out and shoveled. Chilled out, watched movies. We went to the mall and had lunch and just walked around and didn't buy stuff that I did not need. Had a boy. Well, I came close. <laughs> All right, so so I don't, Johnny. You might know the real Ghostbusters, the spect spectral figure set that was available yeah. at um uh, GameStop. Yeah, yeah. Now, I almost had that shit in my hands. Nice, nice. GameStop. It, no, it wasn't. It too. wasn't at. Ga- it wasn't at GameStop. It's so there's a collectible store in the mall, and they mm. have like things that are rare and like you know like newer stuff, and then they have older stuff. Well, that was in there, and I'm like, oh, I, said, I can't fucking do it. What was, what was the price point on that? I think it was two hundred. Yeah. And it's all. And it's. I'm it's not all, a collectible guy, so like. As for figure wise, so that wouldn't be that would definitely be an instant no. See, my thing yeah, is, yeah. I'm gonna open it. Like I collect, yes, I collect, but I want to open right. it and put it on fucking. Display. That's why I'd rather get cheaper Same. figures, dude, that I still yeah. like, and just because yeah. I know they're gonna get dusty and all that other. I, shit. Well, that's why I normally buy two of everything, dude. <laughs> this, that's me. This and then, favorite, okay, so this this is my favorite Ghostbusters collectible right here. Just this little Slimer. I paid like I three bucks. It. Paid you like three here, bucks for him. You weren't here, but uh, nice. Yeah. You could put your weed in there. Did you get <laughs> I don't smoke weed? Did you did you get the little uh mini puffed uh stuffy? There's two of them. Yeah, I know, but, but I didn't I didn't cooler. get them. I didn't get, I get them. I got Only because they had a fuck ton of them and they didn't mm. have any of the tubs out. So I asked because a buddy of mine took a picture and he saw it th- and I said, dude, buy it for me. He's like, I'm not going to fucking buy it for you. Fuck you. Like, wow, you're, a, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> so I, I went to go I buy think... it. Okay. But I went I to go finish. buy it and they didn't have any. All they had was the cups. So I went up to the popcorn guy and I'm like, hey, um, you got any more back there? And he's like, I don't know. Let me ask. So I went well, to go it's ask. like a drug trade for a popcorn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so the manager came out. She's like, it's the last one. I don't know if we're getting any more. And I said, Gimme, gimme, daddy wants him. I want that. I want that popcorn, the firehouse popcorn tin. I want that one too. too. And then I want the trap. So, but there's two traps. Yes, there is. I want the, um, what was the first, 
There was the first one that was announced that has the triangle that holds the yeah, popcorn. That holds the popcorn. Yeah. yeah. The regal one is just the trap. And I'm like, what are you gonna get like two handfuls of popcorn in that fucking thing? Like, <laughs> fuck off, dude. I got a spirit trap. That's fine. <laughs> and you can hide your weed in there. What up, yeah. Gene? Yeah, you definitely hide your weed what in up, that. Gene? <laughs> what up, Gene? Hey Gene. Janie. But, but uh oh yeah, oh, so, yeah. so that was that was my Saturday. Sunday was chill out, did absolutely nothing, watched this movie. Had a great time with it. That's what we're here to talk about. Let's do it. Johnny, you're up. Uh, let's see. So weekend, kiddo had her birthday party, so she got a happy special. Happy birthday to her. And yes, um, oh, yeah, yeah, happy dude. birthday. Oh, man. <laughs> it was uh, so she had five girls here, and I don't have the biggest of house by any means, dude. It's just a 19, it's an old 1950s ranch, right? Not a lot of, not a lot of rooms or anything like that. The vocal octave. That six young girls between the age of eight to ten can reach is only defined in my vocabulary as ear bleeding. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> holy shit! Uh, no, they all had a good time. I pretty much acted like the dude on a nature documentary that's like watching like some lost tribe and it kind of explaining the situation, <laughs> just seeing what they do and how they interact with each other. Not really try to like you know put yourself in but if they need help with something really bad that's where you step in you kind of help and then you let nature take its course Scoops, uh, you, didn't, you didn't find a way to pull up that picture of him as haggard oh you know what i got you i'll get it right now yeah. Continue. rob zombie haggard dude Fuck yeah, yeah. Rob zombie uh, haggard. like i said so it looked like he looked like he took a chewbacca mask and just pulled the face out and just kept the hair <laughs> on, <threw that> on. <laughs> i mean i don't think chewy's that that luxurious of a beard but that thing was uh well, he is a beard. Oh, did you look at him dude <laughs> honest off to God, him, that's so i only had the only thing i had besides the beard and the thing was um the under shirt right so i dunked that in some tea like a week or two ago but jen had her professor mcgonagall costume but it actually looked pretty fucking solid and i was like well now i look like a fucking schlub especially if you're gonna be posting fucking photos of me there we are. <laughs> so I went to Salvation Army, bro, and for eight bucks, I picked up those grandpa slacks. That vest was this sweet grandpa sweater. I almost was kind of sad cutting it because I was like, yo, man, I could I felt like I could have rocked that at some point, right? So then what I did is I mean after you can see him in the thing, I took the sleeves. Now I know you guys know I have Bigfoot slippers, right? So I took the Bigfoot slippers, wrapped them in the sleeves. So then I just had giant, big, brown Hagrid shoes on. So I had that covered. And then the belt, I knew that was easy. I just went to the ladies section at Salvation Army, dude, because they always have those (laughs) stupid fucking designer belts that don't do shit, but they just put it on their midsection anyways. Boom. And then spray painted that fucker silver a little bit. And yeah, there's my $10 Hagrid costume. But you know what, bro? That's legit. And that is a memory that your daughter's going to have forever. Like... That's 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 fucking amazing, man. Um, no, I hope she had a good time, dude. All the candles are still hanging throughout the house till her actual birthday party or birthday. We said, but Was that other than that, man, no, they're so they're the, the the they're the floating candles if you've seen the movie. So they just hang from the thing. But there's a wand that activates them all. So like even my out my dumbass was just going around the house like yeah. Yeah, just like turning them on and off. <laughs> he, they did, however, have trick candles on the birthday cake. Yes, yeah, they, that's, did. that's what yeah, I did. They so were I saw fucking that. going ham on that shit, dude. I saw that shit. No, and when she was like, or when one of the little girls was like, "Want me to help you?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Everybody spit on the cake. Let's go, <laughs> that's, everybody. That's what I thought, <laughs> dude. Party. And I was just like, "Yo, man, you know what? That's that's exactly what that shit is." <laughs> but no, it was. Uh, so that was my weekend, and then sat, uh, once all the kiddos left around like ten. It was completely silent, so that was awesome. Uh, <laughs> but no, I did watch, and I want to mention this really quick. I did watch a fucking solid movie over the week, and it's something that I've seen in passing for a long fucking time, dude. It's been out for 14 years now already. It's a Korean film. I actually got Brody to watch it and Bob, but it's called I Saw the Devil, and it's fucking awesome. And I almost want to take one of mine off the list this year and throw it on to have you guys watch if this. If you shit. want, I'd be good for that. Dude, no, like I'm legit, and I, like the fact, like I mean, I feel like Brody can attest. It's it's a questionable one because it's technically a thriller, but we did Hitcher, and that's also a thriller. But this, to me, is way more on the dude. It's like it rides the line so hard. I still say it's, it's actually it's it's horror to me, like. 
just dealing with the themes alone of that film is the subgenre of the horror genre. Like there's so many, like you're dealing with serial killers, cannibalists, cannibalism, <clears throat> all these different things that add up to like this thriller. But yeah, it's, it's, the, undertones, it's crazy, the undertones of this film is fucking brutal, savage. It's straight up a horror film. Cause me and John went back and forth with like trying to talk about why it would be, but I think it'd be a good one to throw on the show. Cause like, as well. Cause it's questionable, like that first half and you're just like, yeah. I don't know. you're like, this could be horror. Cause it's definitely got some themes right there, but it definitely feels a little bit more thriller, but then it hits a certain section where you're just like, no, this is horror. Like yeah. there, this is definitely yeah. horror. But on top of Bob, we're talking about, I saw the devil and oh, yes, I, yes. how I want to put it on the list for this year. So I won't say too much about it, uh, but the other good thing I'll say is, Dude, it's got some fucking awesome action sequences, man. Yes, like some crazy fucking action sequences, dude. Yeah. Was, I watched it like probably like 20 minutes after you said, have you ever seen it? Because I've seen the poster and I 100% agree. It, it could definitely fit 100%. Oh, would you the, feel, oh, the, what the I wanted cool. to ask you, Bob, that we have here, though, even though it says thriller, would you still almost consider it more horror than thriller? Or do you say it toes the line? I think honestly, it's actually a, a good mix of both because it's a horror. Put it this way: the, the the theme is horrific, right? But the way it looks is is very thrilling. Yeah, it's not it's not overall like horror esque. No, the, so. it, neither one of thriller or horror overshadows the. But other. then even the action scenes like throw the whole like another third mix into it. So you're just like, dude, I got a whole bunch of flavors going on, and I'm fucking loving well, it's, it. Dude. It's it's like, kind of like a Terminator. It's like horror, action, sci fi. Yeah, it's, it, it's it's a nice blend. This that's a movie that's blended of thr a thriller horror with a hint of action. It's, I've seen it as a psychological horror because it's really oh, it is yeah. with all it these different characters. Is. And it's almost like a weird, like the easiest way, like it's almost like a Korean take kind of on Taken, or at least that genre. Yes. It's on that revenge genre, or like it's whatever. a different twist on the. Oh revenge. yeah, way oh, different, that's dude. Fucking, that's so, what makes it special. Yeah, I just got, I just, I got to look at her list, decide which one I think is like the most meh throw that fucker out and i'll put that bitch on there i was thinking maybe poltergeist too so that's something maybe we can all discuss get like everybody's thing but uh, yeah other than that i watched this fucking movie finally last night which once again never saw it and now i'm fucking ready to talk about it oh, because yeah, that shit was awesome right, 30 minutes it. already into this fucking show so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all right uh i believe this was mr vasquez's pick if i'm not yes. mistaken yes Scuba, it take it away, homie. <clears throat> we are talking Willy's Wonderland, released February 12th, 2021. A quiet loner finds himself stranded in a remote town when his car breaks down. Unable to pay for the repairs he needs, he agrees to spend the night cleaning Willy's Wonderland, an abandoned family fun center. But this Wonderland has a dark secret that the janitor is about to discover. He soon finds himself trapped inside, Willy <clears throat> inside Willy's and locked in an epic battle with the possessed animatronic mascots that roam the halls. To survive, he must fight his way through each of them. Directed by Kevin Lewis, Malibu Spring Break, The Accused, or The Accursed, mm. written by G.O. Parsons, produced by Nicolas Cage, Shadow of the Vampire, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Yeah. Grant Kramer, <laughs> Lone Survivor, The War with Grandpa. And Jeremy Daniel Davis, SEAL Team 4, Relapse. Six. Brian Lord, or six, sorry. Brian Lord, Blackbird, The System, David Ozer, Winona Earp, and Slasher. Winona Earp. That's a lot Earp. of fucking producers. It Jesus was. Christ. Winona Earp. It's so, a TV show. Never heard of it. Oh, is yeah, it? it? Okay. It, 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 yeah, it I think it was a, a, a sci-fi sci sci show, even. Yeah, it was. That would make sense. Bobby. Starring Nicolas Cage, Ghost Rider, Renfield, as the janitor, Emily Tosta, Party of Five, Mayans, MC, as Liv, Hawthorne. Beth Grant, Speed, Donnie Darko, as Sheriff Louise Lund. David Scheftel, the young and the restless, <laughs> Days Gone, as Deputy Evan Olson. Rick Wrights, Safe Haven, Almost Christmas, as Tex Makadu. Chris Werner, SEAL Team 6, Machete, as Jed Love. Kai Kedlick, Cadlick. 
the wrong cheerleader, two sides as Chris Mully, Kaylee Cohen, Sunrise in Heaven, Divin- Divinity, Divinity, there we go, as <laughs> Kathy Barnes. To, uh, yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're good. You're almost there. Yeah. You're getting there. Almost there. You got this, Bobby. <laughs> that thick old tongue's getting tired. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, Ter- Terrell Hill, I'm going with that. Cobra Kai, Judas and the Black Messiah as Bob McDaniel. Christian Del Grasso, disconnected. School Spirits as Aaron Powers. Body count total 33, including Holy flashback, shit. animatronics, okay. and suicide. Cool. Let's that fucking go. That was a, that's a lot of bodies I mean, if you really I, consider the I whole didn't, thing. Well, I I was, didn't, there's a few I didn't count because there was a real quick flash of all the people that uh, it showed them being killed. Like when they the, the things went into the town and killed people. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like they just showed that too uh, quick. They just showed splatters and stuff. And you didn't really say because they were just like, oh, there was bodies here. And so, yeah, yeah, I don't even know if you'd be able to get an accurate count on that. I'm, I'm happy that the animatronics are included. Oh, yeah. I mean, they should be, dude. They had some of the coolest deaths. They did. That's why I was happy they're included. For but sure. continue, Chad. Okay. So, music by Emoy, The Accursed, uh, Benny Loves You. Cinematography by David Newbert. This game's called Murder and The Accursed. This a Benny, lot of love, Benny loves you. That's the one where like it's the boy's stuffed toy that comes back to kill him or something, right? I think so. It's on okay. Hulu or something. Yeah, I think I yeah, yeah I think because it popped up right after this movie, actually. So that makes sense. All right. Uh, where did I leave off? Uh, edited by Ryan Liebert, Boomtown, The Accursed. Uh, effects and makeup by Kenneth J. Hall, Carnosaur, Jack oh Frost. My God, Carnosaur! <laughs> There's a scraping at the bottom of the barrel. We should. I do. love. I've, I love. I've never seen that. it. I watched that for the first time this year. Where did you find and? it? And on YouTube. No shit. Yep. What I didn't watch that. That's about a kid, dude. I've never watched it. I've never heard of it before so until bad. fucking this year. It's so bad. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it since. <laughs> Uh, distributed by Screen Media Films, runtime of 88 midgets, MPAA what? rating of TVMA. That's weird. That is very weird. That is very weird. Uh, hmm. Budget of 5 mil, grossed $457,144, but it had a very, very limited release. Wasn't it just specifically <laughs> released on Shudder first? Is that maybe why it's a TVMA? It seems like that still should be R. Um... It, it, maybe. That's weird. Yeah, why TVMA? Yeah. I mean, that is such a weird. You know what? Though? I didn't realize it was a rating. I guess times. if you think about it in the terms of like what actually happens in it, a lot any of the deaths are probably not a true R, and there's no real like swearing or anything in it, so that might be why. No, like, nobody drops an R. Is there? Mm-hmm. Hmm. But even I mean, they, they can do that shit do. on Comedy Central and everything now, right, dude? Like, I've seen you do, you do get some good blood in this too. Yeah, dude, the fucking sheriff gets literally ripped in half. Somebody gets decapitated. I mean, the, the kids who are having sex for God's sakes. I mean, his arm gets ripped off. She. But gets that's what I'm saying. Like, like there's no actual titties. The sex was censored. Dude, I hate that in the movie. That oh my god. Okay, right. So we're, because we're first of all, we know all his dudes. That bra is fucking getting ripped. That oh, bra is coming yeah, apart. Yeah, yeah. Not off and left yeah. the bra. Then no way. We ain't getting to that pat like that's one of the first things. God damn it! And those were Bro, very he's like, nice. Not me, you those sinners. Like no, no, I was, I was Devo about that. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm just saying that scene would have been all different. Uh, <laughs> that's probably why we didn't get our R, though. You know what I mean? So you got no new yeah, or anything like that. That's uh, pro- that's probably the the main reason. But other than that, no, this um, was first time first movie. time watch. This was fucking great I and i'm not it. a big nicholas cage fan i'm not i am but <laughs> I, I do like i'm him biased as fuck films, i'm not even gonna lie I, same I, I don't know why but like him in this movie he him not saying a word i don't know what it is but i'm like it's no, the I, he's I, a clean he's good, bro. his facial his facial his facial expressions did yes all the talking Yes. Yes. did he didn't need to talk in this fucking no, movie technically his yeah, facial no. expression did everything technically and i don't even know if it's technically i would say it is because it popped up in subtitles so i would say it counts he says one thing and it's ah yeah and it's only that when on during that like last <laughs> no it's like the last pinball machine oh. it didn't even like pop oh up. Yeah. yeah he's screaming during the kills that doesn't pop up with the subtitles it's just that one time no, when he's doesn't. like really like i think it was during the fuck scene where he, like he's like almost like humping the oh, pinball well, machine he's, he's like ah 
And like, and that was just like the last, like the only time I was like, huh, that's literally his only line. <laughs> so no, I, I'll say this. I found this. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I said, ahead, there's one thing I will say right off the bat is my favorite scene of him is when they're in the one room and him and the girl are getting ready to fight and he's all ready. No, wait, wait. And his alarm goes, <laughs> off. And goes he's, off. And he's just and he's just like he just hands her the switchblade and walks away. <laughs> it goes back and you know, like, I'm not gonna lie, man. Really that home, I, homie minutes. is a union worker. And I know because I am one. <laughs> I laugh. When it I is break so time, motherfucker, you go to break. It's fucking break I time. I laughed yeah. hard at that scene. And I told Mel, I said, you know, in most movies, it would annoy the fuck out of me. Like, why is he doing this? For what reason? No. I didn't give a no. fuck in this movie at all. Like, no. I don't yeah. want to know. No. He doesn't I need don't want to know why he has to take the breaks. I don't know why he's, a, I want to know why he's addicted to this fucking caffeine okay. energy so, drink. So now that we're on that subject. I brought it up to John because I did. Ooh, I yes. said, count how many times he changes, changes his shirt, shirt, drinks a pop, a drink. or play or plays pinball. So what are your numbers? Are your numbers? <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't do the pinball one. So that one I fucked up. So shirt I had four. You had I five. five. Hi, Mel. I didn't count the original change of the shirt. So if unless you did, oh, I did. I didn't do I mean, I guess I should have, but I always did it like once he finally got it on. It's like then how many times does he change into a new one? So I only did four. And then drinks, I got seven total. Seven. I have eight yeah. written down because he it should have been eight. But she, right. Yeah. 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 So I had that. And then pinball would probably be six. I think. Probably I five, or si- five or I six. Counted four, but I, I counted four, but I thought it was. I thought I might have missed one. I didn't do that one, but I feel like it was almost. I mean, pretty much it was every time he drank. But the first time he drank was on the road. He wasn't even there yet, so you gotta take that out. So the that's second still, time, the so second that's still time, six more. But the second time he didn't because he didn't. Uh, he just clean got it off there. And, yeah, yeah, he didn't clean it off. Or I think that start playing it. Till so that's why I'm gonna say at least five times for pinball. But did, don't did, but did anybody here just really want to have that soda? Yeah, because I, I bet I, you it was a great I, I, I kept, and I kept looking at it like amazing. I thought it looked like it, it, looked like it might be great. It had to be great. I don't like grape flavor though, man. Yeah. I, I love oh, grape I flavor one hundred percent. Grape flavor and orange soda. Who loves so, orange soda? Cal does. Scoobs loves <laughs> orange soda. I do, I do, I do, I do. So <laughs> and I, I do like that it was a fake soda, but all it reminded me of, and I don't know if you homies drank this shit back in the day, was Jolt Cola. Yeah, oh yeah, because Jolt was ooh. Jolt was always flat. But that was the cool mm-hmm. thing was they were always like, it's two times the caffeine. Whoa. Because like, as a kid, you know, you need that. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, this movie was fantastic. And you know what? I can't even judge it to Five Nights at Freddy's like other people can because I haven't seen that nor played okay. it or anything like that. So, uh, so here's I, I, I what I'm going to say. This is, this is how I discovered this movie. My kids were super huge into Five Nights at Freddy's so, when they were little. So am I. Like obsessed with it. I didn't really play the game. I, I would sit there and watch them and they started watching people <laughs> play it on YouTube and shit. And, you know, I'm one of those parents that's like, why are you watching people play when you just fucking play the game yourself? Like, I never understood that shit until I became a streamer. But yeah, but no, you're not because you're still playing. Well, yeah, no, I know. I know. But I understand it now why people watch it, you know. So Damien was super excited. He's like, dad. They're making a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, but it's not called Five Nights at Freddy. I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, it's kind of the same thing. It's got the animatron. We, we need to watch it. So when it came out, we went to go watch it. And I was like, holy shit, this is fucking badass. Like it was, it, it was, it's one of those mindless, fun fucking movies that you, if you don't enjoy this movie, you have a stick up your ass. Because this is, this is fun. <laughs> this is fucking you know what? fun. You know what the turning point of the movie yeah, is for, any, for no, we saw that. Well, she got to stick up her ass. The, the moment to me that <laughs> is the deciding factor whether you're you're gonna like this movie or not is when he first turns around and fights the ostrich. If yes. you don't fucking love that scene and get the reference from Evil Dead Two, then yep. you're not gonna enjoy oh, this oh, movie, dude. Great. No, and I so I get it. You know what I mean? Like that should be your tell point. I mean, and it's got, it's it's got gore per se. It's got fucking evil satanic animatronic. It's got humor. This movie, it's it's got humor. It's got action. It's it's such a good fucking blend of of this fucking. I don't even know what kind of genre this would fucking fit in, but this is what Five Nights at Freddy's should have been. Okay, 
Yeah, no, okay. I because I, I saw yeah. after watching after you know watching this first, and then watching Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's was very kind of dull. But Five Nights there is really also PG any... thirteen too, right? And it is, it is. So, yeah, it's, that, that's, but... that's its flaw. That's its flaw. That's its flaw. That's its and that's its main flaw because the games. I, and I'm sorry, but if you let your kids play this game, then you'd be okay with them yeah, watching, watching, watching it at the movie. Right. You know what I mean? So that was that was the studio's bad because the studio could have had something great in their hand had they taken just a little bit from Willy's Wonderland. And it's just it, it's it's such a fun movie. It's one that I can throw on even as background noise. And just laugh because I know what the fuck's going on. Those fight scenes were fucking ridiculous. They were absolutely ridiculous, but they were fucking great. Yeah, you know why like, though? And I, usually, this is a big thing that I always we bitch about on the show. This movie was shaky cam crazy, bro. Yes, yep. but but it, it worked. worked for it, and it did it yep. in all the right. It wasn't just shaky cam to be shaky cam. Yeah. Like it was always in the most like aggro fucking scenes when some shit was about to go or shit was going down. And even the kids, the kids were annoying as fuck. You <clears> knew <throat> that they weren't going to fucking make it out once they went in, but they still, it was still those tropes that you, we get. You needed in them movies. Because if but it was just, yes. if it was yep. just Nick Cage, it just would have been Nick Cage destroying animatronics. We need some other kills in there. Yeah. To yeah. Help prolong and, this and story. So, <laughs> I, I, I love the backstory of it when, when, you know, when they tell what happened, you know, that was really cool that it was a, a, a fucking satanic cult yeah. of serial killers that did a basic, they pulled a Chucky essentially is what they fucking did mm-hmm. and are in these fucking animatronics, you know, and, and it, it's just such a fun fucking watch and you can sit there with your boys or even Mel. Mel fucking loved it. She's like, I love this movie so much. Tell the tell the guys I love this Hell movie yeah. so much. Fuck, and she, you know, and, and it's just a fun movie that you can watch. Is it too gory for kids? Yeah, it's a little too gory for kids. It's got that one sex scene, you know. That, whatever. You know what? I don't even I feel like in comparison to the gore, I feel like the sex scene would be the most questionable thing. Yeah, because like yeah. even the gore, like the when the cop gets ripped in half, it dude, we've seen way worse, like ripped in half. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that yeah. wasn't much. But it, like, but that's it has scene the campiness. For a while. Yes, it did. Yeah, way long. Dude, I would have like been, been. I would have been done. Dude, way before we that, left the thing. sex scene thing. to watch him play <laughs> pinball for five fucking minutes. Then we went back to the sex <laughs> scene. <dude>. <laughs> the brother had stamina. But you know, you gotta give him that. And, you know, the animatronics were so goofy looking and, and just so, like, not believable. Like, the siren, totally you knew it was just a chick with a fucking hey, mask mm-hmm. on. I like the gorilla, but, dude, because the gorilla was definitely Crepe Ape, just not Crepe Ape. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Was definitely. Rape ape. It was. <laughs> he was Rape Ape in the bathroom. No, I'm not, oh, not to jump ahead, man. That gorilla, that was the best kill. And that was the end. Oh of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. I, I did like stomp. his Curb stop on a fucking yeah. urinal, bro. That I even wrote that down awesome, as curb dude. stomp. That I just, but I love that he got that bathroom so clean. That fucking gorilla comes out of nowhere, and he's and he just See, he's like, "Fuck, I just cleaned." And, this and shit. I internalized his rage. I'm like, "That's why he's so pissed off." This motherfucker came, he cleaned that whole thing, and he came in. And now there's a bloody mirror again. It's like, you yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, dude, yes. when he got, he got that bathroom spotless too. When he walked in, and that was that mess. I looked at Steph and like, that would take me all fucking night just to do that. Yo, bathroom. What yeah. that's what I needed. That's my biggest question. What the hell was in that spray bottle? Because Acid, whatever that shit know. was <laughs> cleaned everything, dude. That was that, magic. But that was also that was the most even got the off the wall. That was that was Nicholas like, Cage no, tears. Fucking, that's I think that was his piss, dude. He was just <laughs> drinking <laughs> the soda, pissing in the fucking <laughs> yeah, that just that's why he was chugging so much of it. <laughs> fucking right, dude. Oh, Holy shit. But I just, like I said, I absolutely adore this fucking movie. It's a fun movie you can watch with whoever the fuck. You can throw it on at any time mm-hmm. and be entertained. You don't have to sit there and, and try to critique this movie because you, it's Nicolas it's, Cage it's fighting is. evil animatronics. And you know what? That's all you need to fucking know. Well, fucking, I keep getting ads popping up on my Facebook for the steelbook of this from Scream Factory. I might have to fucking order it. I think I'm going to do the same yeah. thing. No. Yeah. Yeah. This might be jumping ahead, and this might be something Chad Eddie has in his notes. But have you guys seen? Because this is supposedly part of a trilogy, but it's like an unnamed trilogy, kind of like, um, like the Apocalypse trilogy. Because there's a second uh, 
movie, at least that I know of, called Prisoners of Ghostland that came out in 2021. And it's Nick Cage literally playing the same character from this movie in that. So has anybody else seen that? No? Uh, I need to watch it just to see this continuation. I think it's supposed to be after Willy's Wonderland, but I could be wrong. But it takes place in like a Shogun town, and it's more of a Western, dude. And he's got like katanas on his back and shit. Oh, hell on, that character. Now, now we gotta yeah, I'm him. like, I'm fucking in. Yeah, I'm that's fucking what I'm in. saying. I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking in. Shit, I'm looking that up right I'm, now. You know, here, I'm going to say this. Prisoners, give me the Prisoners cheese. of Ghostland. This movie is the cheese, but it is that fucking Good great cheese. goddamn American processed cheese that we get that we got back in the day. That's the good shit right there. It's not the fancy schmancy cheese that you eat with your little crackers. No, this is that this is that say, cheese man. sauce. This is a cheese sauce you put on your fucking cheese fries. That's what this fucking movie is. Now, with the character of the janitor and him not saying any dialogue. I don't know how many how many westerners you boys watched growing up and everything, but it reminded me of the movie uh High Plains Drifter with Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Yep. Where he just kind of comes in. I mean, I think he's a ghost in that movie, but you know what I mean? Like, he yeah. doesn't say shit the whole fucking movie. He just... So, no problem, Bob. Um, Jesus Bobby will be back. It's mudslide time. That's right. That's okay. I will admit, I, I started trying to look into this film too much at the start. There's a couple of things okay. in there where I was like, that just makes no sense. But then I learned to let go of that shit because exactly what Steve said just embrace it for fucking what it is. It's a fun popcorn flick. Interesting enough, but it's simple enough premise, you know. Um, I was a little bit hesitant when I seen Screen Media was attached to this because usually the track record of Screen Media films is pretty pretty Shit. fucking average. <laughs> but no. yeah, So I really went in with low expectations with this film and by the time the end credits are rolling, I was like, that was – fucking fun it's probably probably the best film they've ever fucking done because they did that jeepers creepers reborn and then the cathedral Bro, i turned hey, that shit trash. off 10 yep. minutes trash. the moment yep. i saw the creeper crawling across the ground and i was like what the fuck I'm like that looks like shit i'm out yep. like <laughs> and the green screen while they're in the car with um what's her ah, name she was yeah fucking can't think of her fucking it name. was bad it was bad yeah. So, but yeah, no, exactly like what Steve said for me personally, I really fucking enjoyed this film for what it was. It was like, um, you know, uh, it's something different. I haven't seen a film like this at all. I kind of wanted to see that when I seen Itchy and Scratchy, uh, Itchy, is it Itchy and Scratchy land in the Simpsons? Yes. When, yeah. when they come to life and try and kill Bart. So I wanted to see a film like that. And Oh my God. I forgot about that. Episode. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. You just fucking brought back some memories. Yeah, so it was a tree yeah. of horror, wasn't it? No, nah, no, 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 no. It was a regular episode where they take oh. it, the camera, and it um fucks with their senses. <laughs> oh, I did. Right. Yeah. I did like the strobe light effect in some scenes. Um, I thought that was actually pretty effective with some of the creatures that come to life. The, um, the, there's a kill scene where the strobe lights in the room, and that ballerina chick. Yeah, she sort of pops up here and there. I thought that was done pretty cool. Um, I was going to mention the shaky cam stuff. It was a little bit hit and miss for it, me in certain it, scenes. It, at, the, at first, it was definitely a little like, yeah, I'm like, is this going to be all yeah. the whole film? But the, I feel like I said, at least for me, the way they ended up doing it, I didn't hate it. Yeah, yeah. no, exactly fucking right. And the more that they kept doing it, the more that I could appreciate it. The, yeah. only, thing, the only thing that sort of threw me off was the lens flare. We got these yes. shining lights like he was being abducted at, so, at times. And, and not only that, but there was a couple shots, and I'm, I, I can almost guarantee you guys probably noticed, or at least it was like, what the fuck's? Where it's something in it itself with the lens just looked weird. Like the people looked kind of like stretched out a little bit weirdly. Yeah, like it's almost like yeah. that. Uh, what the? Uh, it's like an oval lens type thing. Where yeah, but it's not as like defined as like the crazy like like old school midi music video style you know what i mean yeah, where it was just yeah. like i'm just like everybody looks slightly off but then they'll like go to a different angle and it's like normal again i'm like what the fuck so i wonder and i didn't really pay attention to it but i wonder if it's supposed to be like especially like with that light that looks like he's abducted. i wonder if that was supposed to be 
something you know signifying that the caffeine in him's just like wow yeah, you know what yeah, i mean that, that's what I was like thinking. that we're seeing it through his yeah. we're seeing it through the way he's seeing fucking things around rage. him right now right that's possible like that rage and that your fucking heart's beating fat because this motherfucker he didn't drink no water mm. he didn't have nothing to eat he's just drinking i slammed a fucking red bull on saturday night thinking that i was a badass because i drink so much fucking red bull sugar-free fucking slam that shit in like three minutes, I was nauseous as shit, ready to fucking throw up because it the caffeine got to me. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have the problem where it's like, dude, I try to take caffeine to keep me up, and I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna go take a fucking nap right now. See you same. later. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same. Well, no, I'm the same way. Also, so that's why I slammed it because it was like it was probably about twelve thirty, and I slammed that bitch because my buddy was like, "Let's go shotgun Red Bulls," and I said, "Fuck it, let's go." <laughs> so yeah, we went and yeah, your boss. yeah. Ugh. I can't do the Jaeger bombs mm-hmm. anymore, <sighs> unfortunately. Stuff's nasty. But I could. But yeah, man, like fucking. So I, man, I don't know that that. I, listen, I am Nick cold. Cage, dude, because that's all I drink. Like I'll drink like maybe some water a day, and I know I'm terrible at it. But yeah, dude. I now I need to know, and I don't know if there's any way to, to know how often did like when his brakes went off, like what, how, like what was his time? Was it like every two hours? Like I'm just trying to figure that out. I don't know. I was, I was thinking really that the whole time. Because, like, it went off. See, it, it seemed to go off pretty steadily. And if we're talking about he's there the entire evening, but he got dropped off when it was still light out. So, I don't know. So, you're looking at a good 12 hours of work, at least. Out of I'm it. thinking. Solid. Yeah. But, and by the way, kudos to him for, like, never like stopping work. Like, he would get into a, he'd get into a fight with these fucking animatronics and fuck them up. And he'd go and just get back to work that to me is some of the best that's the best humor of it yes you know what i mean it's not a spoken joke or anything like that it's just like like man if you if you sold this as like a one pitch thing you're like this is nicholas cage doing mundane cleaning task (laughs) while getting attacked by fucking animatronics And that's all it is. And it's he's cleaning like a mother like he was he gets the whole restaurant done in one evening is like a superhero feat in itself, personally. Because mm-hmm. my ass would have definitely lost steam about halfway through. I'm like, I don't want to fucking do half this shit. Dude. The best part about it though is <laughs> not only like does he ch- not only does he change shirts, he's crystal clean every yep. time. He is. Crystal- and he's, yeah, he washes his hands a lot. That, but he's really good with his timing too, man. Like he does his breaks to like his breaks are all fucking. Like I said, they got. I'm thinking like 10, 15 minute breaks. Yep. That's how he downs his soda when his breaks over. He's done with his soda fucking back to clean like so know, that man. chick he gives a knife to she's been fighting that animatronic for 15 minutes while he goes and plays the pinball yeah machine. that yeah. is the best dude <laughs> just fucking prep ready <laughs> all right no but the, but the, <laughs> the way he just hands her the knife she was just kind of like I, but the, I gotta go but the best is when the animatronic is looking at her saying want to fight bitch he walks and you see the mouth go <laughs> yeah <laughs> But you know what? I love the scene after that when they're fucking walking down the hallway and the two animatronics are at the end. <laughs> yes! Of the hall. Yeah. He just fucking bitch slaps them out the fucking way. It's like, fuck yeah. As let's he's go. dragging the body of the other one to the trash bag. <laughs> Even with his hands pulling his back, that, he can You know what? Damage. Right. You're right, Gene. This is like crank. It kind of is. But with animatronics. How? The- that was another thing, man. Was he actually in handcuffs? Did he straight up <laughs> out of fucking handcuffs? No, it was, ca- it was a cable tie because he oh, like, snaps okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Because I was just like, yo, how the hell did he just hulk out of fucking cuffs, dude? <laughs> Super soldier. That's what's in the can. Super, Super soldier. soldier there, Honestly, yeah. for a second, I misread the caffeine and I thought it said cocaine. And I was like, oh, that explains how he's not. <laughs> <out of the kid." laughs> that would make all the sense in the world. So it's the original Coke formula. Exactly. But that would explain how a motherfucker clean an entire restaurant the way it was in 12 fucking hours, bro. It was just cans of meth. That's the, only right, was bro. Ah. It's the only way, that's the only logical explanation for him to get that whole fucking restaurant clean like that. It had to have been meth. But, meth based. This movie was, like, was, I didn't, was, even, was, I didn't even have any, th- any th- notes. This is literally the body count. Jesus Christ. Jesus that's awesome. fucking Christ. No, so this movie, like you guys said, the animatronics. They look goofy, but I actually love them all. Like, I love all the looks because you feel like, no, I can see these existing in the 80s. In the 80s, fuck yeah. This is like, here is one thing like pizza. I caught one thing, and I don't know if you guys did, but they fucked up their timeline when they said shit. Because they said, originally, 
The guy opened up Willie's in 1996. But then they said it was the best place in the 80s. So what? what? No, no, no. Because no, no, no. They didn't fuck that up. He bought it in 1996 after the massacre had. Yes. No, the massacre had. No, because it, it says that when that when it shows Willie in the first dude, it says he bought it in 1996. You know, it was weird. They maybe even maybe it was them. maybe it was just up for sale and he bought it in '96. Yeah, because I thought McAdoo, McAdoo or whatever bought it in '96 and was reopened. No, tried to reopen it. Check. Pretty sure the killer bought it in '96. No, it said the yeah. killer bought it in '96. So maybe the place oh. was open prior and the killer just happened to buy it, take it over. Maybe that's what it was. But because I I was just like, wait, I'm like, and even Jen and I looked at each other when they said '80s later on in the movie. I'm like, they said '96 in the beginning. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. So. Anyways, that, that was like the only did, thing. They did, I did catch one fuck up that I never caught before. Who was that? When he first goes into the kitchen, he's already got the duct tape yes. did, on his I cheek. I did see that listed in the goofs. Yeah. And he hadn't been scratched yet. No. Yeah. Which I love duct tape as a bandage. Already falling asleep. Especially. No, no. <laughs> he's been up all night. Especially. You didn't uh, hear this. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you kidding. missed it. Chad. Yeah. Yeah. He's been, yeah. he's been fighting knuckles. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that video. He did send me, yeah. Yeah, he sent me the video of that fucking thing. But no, like I said, uh, these animatronics could definitely fit in the old Chuck E. Cheese style universe of Elvis Mice and all that other weird shit back in the 80s. Dude, and they're and, kind of they're they're kind of scary. Like yeah. as goofy as they are, they're kind of cre- even the dude, night was kind of creepy when the yeah. looking as it was. The dude, the night was awesome. Me out. The, the, yeah, the pixie was weird. Thinks he fucking freaked me out. It was those eyes. The white hooded mouth could oh, just. Rah. Yeah, I think I like. I don't know, man. I actually like the ostrich, even though he got off super fucking mm-hmm. fast, just because it was like uh, Loretta with the whole like neck yeah. thing. At least that's what I was. <laughs> I swallow your soul. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just like. What oh did shit! I was gonna eat his face or something. <laughs> it did. Yeah, yeah. I said I was gonna eat your face or some shit. Yeah. Well, but the no, other man, thing that is... also the little piece of continuity that bothered me was was the sheriff. Uh, for a woman who was is old, still looked the exact same all those years ago. Like, yeah. would have been a little bit of a difference. I don't know. Betty White looked the same up until she died from since like the sixties. So that's yeah, but this woman also looked like she smoked ten packs of cigarettes a day. If she she really probably wanted. did. I don't. Know. I don't know, man. My grandma's looked the same since I fucking remember, bro. And she she's ninety four now, and she looked the same when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. There you go. No man, this uh I'm very happy Scoobs had this watch this man because yes. like I said, it's like and I'm glad you guys through. enjoyed it. Oh, it was great because it could have gone it could have gone either way. Like if you went in and took it serious, and that's what I was no. afraid of. I didn't want you guys to take it serious. How could Brody you, was though? Brody was my main, my main I was nervous <laughs> because I know I know how Brody reviews flicks. That's and fair, I'm like, that's God fair. damn it. No. I hope he goes in and just Takes it with a grain of salt and just has fucking fun with it. I'll I'll, I'll tell you what scene it was. So, I, I look. I I knew that we were going to have fun with it, and I probably shouldn't have taken it too serious. But the moment that made me switch to like just relaxing and chilling about this film was when he goes into the toilet, and the bear is not there when he opens up the door, and then the lights flash, and the then the bear's there, and I went. Well, how the fuck did he not see the bear and how can it hide in the cubicle like that? It's like, you know, and then I went, oh, okay, it's a supernatural film. Shut the fuck up, Brody, and just appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, other than that, that made me change my point of view of this film. I fucking loved it. It was an enjoyable film. It's great. It was good fun. It, yeah. It's one of those ones where it's like, yo, man, if you wanted to have a weird Nick Cage, like, kind of horror marathon, like, I would throw this, Mandy, yep. and then, like, Renfield. I haven't seen Renfield yet, so I, I that was another one I gotta watch. So yeah, you you might be right though. That, although I I gotta check out this other one with the, this uh, character of the janitor going in. Although that's not horror; that says action western. So yeah, I'll give but is that. he actually called the janitor? No, I don't know. I, if he, I looked it up. He's just listed as hero. So he he's another nameless hero, and I think the whole thing is he doesn't talk. I could be wrong. Like I said, I haven't seen it. And I only knew about it because my brother-in-law told me about it. He's like, yo, did you, because he said it was a trilogy. I don't even know what the other third movie is. I'd have to do some research. But And, you know, and Charlie, Charlie hardly ever focuses on the TV unless it's that goddamn dancing fruit or Bluey. And <laughs> we're in the living room watching it. And she's crawling around and shit's popping off on screen. And she's sitting there. And she's just. Well, they're giant fuzzy goes, animals, dude. 
She's all, she should not be watching this. I'm like, no, this is fucking awesome. Like, this is great. She, she's all about it, dude. She's like, yes, I should watch that. <laughs> I need to watch it. Well, I mean, dude, it's it's very colorful, very bright, for sure. Yeah. Like I said, fuzzy yeah. animals. They don't know. I was a proud papa. That's all I'm saying. I was a proud papa. Oh, yeah. I'm just sad I sat on this movie for fucking two years, bro. Same. <laughs> I was like, watching it way longer again. I remember when Scoobs first watched it and telling us how much he enjoyed it when he came in. But you see Charlie get an Australian accent after watching the movie too much. <laughs> I, man, that would be fucking adorable. <laughs> I still, I still got to fucking watch it. I, I keep saying it. <laughs> I'll be watching it live on Wednesday. Yeah, you fucker. It's like doing a live show. I feel like it's one of those yeah, things that like par- most parents end up watching it after their kids go to bed because they forget to turn it off. And they're just I've like, fuck, dude, watching this for an hour. What the fuck? Mel and I put it on for Charlie. Charlie falls asleep and we're still there fucking. It. Oh, I love this episode. Oh, my favorite one's coming up next. Like, <laughs> oh, that's how I got the girls to settle down for their sleepover because they're all watching Harry Potter and then they're all like, still being. Rem- I was like, yo, why don't you put on Bluey? Nice, calm. That'll <laughs> that'll fucking knock everybody out. <laughs> all righty. Um. I feel like it's time to hand it over to Chad Daddy to get a little behind yes. the scenes. So, uh, uh, Chad would, Daddy, what do you got, bud? I would be delighted. So, Nicolas Cage improvised the pinball dance. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I would have never had guessed. <laughs> <laughs> what a thought. They just let, they probably just started to let the cameras roll, like, Nick, do your thing. I mean, at this we're, point, isn't that what you do minutes. when you have Nick Cage as, as your main character? Just do your own thing, Nick. Like, we're just going to. Well, He's not even playing a role. He just showed up one day, and they're like, "Let's see what happens if we put Nicolas Cage in a haunted amusement park." Dude, did he sharpie that beard on? I need to know. That fucker was dark. It looks super like just for men, Don. Bro, it like, was like, yes hard. The hair didn't look as bad, but the beard was like, it don't look natural. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck it. Okay, so he also produced the movie himself as he was very protective of the script. Awesome. Right on. Punch, the fictional energy drink Nicholas character's character, Nicholas Cage's character drinks in the movie, has the text, a fistful of caffeine for your kisser on the can. We need that. See, a fistful of cocaine for your kisser. Just, that's why he was cleaning I need that, and I need the gay energy drink from the that episode of The Office. Austin Nut? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the gay? What's the gay one from fucking The Office? It was uh, it was like the next to last season when two of Daryl's uh, people from the uh, warehouse came back to work after they lost their money in a bad investment. Their bad oh, okay. investment was a gay Japanese drink. It was the Japanese <laughs> energy drink aimed at uh, gay men. Gay men. All right. And the flavor was coconut penis. <laughs> you know what I need? I need to fight. Now I get. I can get how you get to the coconut part, but how do you get that penis flavor? I know, but the, the best. The best part was he's, he's it's coconut. Well, penis. John, let me tell. It's coconut let penis, me show right? You. And uh, Daryl's like, "Oh, I gotta try a sip of this." And the guy's like, "I wouldn't." He just coconut's pretty subtle. <laughs> oh, no. I thought you were going to go with uh, Tropic Thunder with, uh, what was it, Booty Sweat and Bust a Nut? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, booty Sweat was the energy drink. Bust a Nut was the candy bar. That's I, I haven't seen that yet. You haven't seen Tropic Thunder? Bro. That is. Ooh, if, uh, we do that other, if we do that other show we were talking oh, we about. Have to do, we have to yeah. do that. Show, to I still just got to. I just don't know how I want to do the show notes and everything for it, though. It's all good. It's all good. We got time. Yeah. But, yeah, if it doesn't happen a couple months, till a couple months down the road, that's fine. Yeah. Right. Okay, uh, the screenplay was high on the blood list, a list of highly anticipated genre scripts. Oh. Mm. I wonder if that had to do with that it was something kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's, maybe. Probably, because they really wanted to adapt that, and this just kind of got fast-tracked, because... Well, I think if they if Five Nights at Freddy had more of the elements of this movie with certain things, I think that sequel would have happened already. That's gonna happen. I know, but Five Nights at yeah. Freddy's wasn't. It wasn't terrible, but I really do think Willy's Wonderland was much it, better. No, it wasn't terrible. It was just super slow compared to this. This, yeah. You know, and like I said, if you watch Five Nights at Freddy's first, cool. You watch, then you watch this. You're like, well, well, this is a way fucking better movie. But if you watch this first, you're like, oh well, Five Nights at Freddy ain't that great. <laughs> That's, That's kind of. I'm, right. I'm, I'm on the borderline almost. 
Okay, uh, continuing on. Liv's line, he's not trapped in there with them, they're trapped in there with him, is a reference to the character of Rorschach in the limited comic series graphic novel Watchmen, which was adapted into a movie in 2009. I picked up on that. And I'm not mistaken, but I think that was also said in in the Punisher comics at one point, too. I think you might be I think so. It was said in a bunch of movies, too. Yeah. Uh, according to the director Kevin Lewis, the movie is Pale Rider versus Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> okay, so yeah. it does have that western, that western aspect to it. Yeah, Lone Ranger. Right on. Uh, the movie's name was changed from Wally's Wonderland to Willie's Wonderland. I'll get into that later. Actually, you know, yeah, actually I'll just scan right down to that yeah. one. I mean, um, I was playing with my Willie while I was watching Willie's Wonderland, so. Let me see where does, where does this go into detail. I know there are certain changes made during production. The title was changed from Wally's to Willy's Wonderland due to legal issues. And the original animal character, animatronic characters Douglas Dog, Polly Penguin, Barry Bear, Pirate Pete, and Regina Rabbit were replaced with Artie Alligator, Tito Turtle, Gus Gorilla, Nighty Night, and Cammy Chameleon. Hmm. And they didn't say why? I thought there was something up here, but maybe not. Uh, the look of the crocodile animatronic was inspired by a Soviet cartoon called Gina the Crocodile. I thought it looked like Crocodile Dennis myself. The crocodile was the Mexican one, right? No, that was the turtle. No, that was the turtle. The crocodile oh, that's the turtle. was that's the one in the vent, and he yeah, looked yeah, yeah. like that's Crocodile right. Dennis the game, dude. That's what I just yeah. said. like, yo, man, pull the teeth! Pull the <laughs> yeah. teeth! I looked at Stefan like, it's Crocodile Dennis. It was, dude. A fucking totally fucking was. Mexican turtle. Siren, mm-hmm. Siren Sarah is the only animatronic to be voiced by her suit performer, Jessica Graves Davis. The other animatronics are performed and voiced by different people. Nighty Night and Artie Alligator, however, have no voice actors. They didn't talk. Huh. I say Nighty Night just grunted and yeah, Alligator. Did the gorilla talk? Yeah. Oh, he, he did. did. That's right, he did. I love that the gorilla got attacked by a fucking plunger. Too. <laughs> I don't know what it was, dude. Just that scene was like, yep, that was it. I think that was like, even though that was the second kill of it, that was definitely like the solidified, like, I am in this movie, dude. I fucking yes. love it. Like, that was the moment. I it's even rewound it because the wife stepped out and I was like, yo, check this out. She's like, what? <laughs> She's like, did you just attack it with a plunger? I'm like, fuck yeah, he did. <laughs> Which is the one that got its balls bashed in? Ooh. The turtle. Oh, yeah. Turtle. yeah, it was a turtle. Who else? Who got killed at the end? Lost. Yeah, I don't like the turtle got like he ran over and then the doll blew herself up, kind of. But like, yeah. did she? I don't know. She blew herself a like it, she got she blown away, launched, but like, you didn't see her like get blown to pieces. So, correct. So, I'm always like, I was wondering, hmm. that I you know, I could have sworn that there was an after credit scene i did not watch any credits so i don't know there wasn't i know there wasn't there i i know there wasn't but i could have sworn i i could have sworn that the first time i fucking watched this there was an after credit scene where you see her all burnt up and she laughs and then it goes to black that would kind of make sense like unless i fucking dreamt that shit you don't really see her die not in comparison to like we've seen the other ones where we actually see them in pieces. So Bobby's stroking out. Oh shit! Wow. Here's, here's here's my thing. They're animatronic, so if they put them back together, would they still be alive? That's a good question, actually. So like, wait. So when he threw them, when he threw them in. The dumpster. Was she also in the dumpster? And that's she, she was, she in the was dumpster. yeah. So she was the thing that was moving in the dumpster that came out. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna say they're dead because we never are. saw any of the parts move after the fact. Like yeah. they were just like, yeah, that's fucking it. She was yeah. just the one that was just like not killed. Which was such a fucking and Mel was like, This is my favorite, this is my favorite part right here. Tell them this is my favorite part where he's fucking sitting on top of her. Yeah. And fucking Steph loved that. <laughs> I uh I expected more of like a better death with that, but obviously like we need obviously didn't I didn't kill her, so no, but yeah, like because you know she's gotta come back and off those two dudes, but like I don't know. 
just the way that was like you and how much rage he's gone on everything else you i expected more for that but okay, so going back to those dudes reason. for a second is it just me or was that fucking mechanic chewing on a fucking beef stick to the whole yeah movie? he was it was a beef yeah, stick. He was. okay okay so yeah. maybe except for what like is that a beef stick or a cigar Which, the that's the best part is because when he first shows up he's rocking the arnold shot from predator and i was yeah. like what arnold <laughs> and i was like oh that is not arnold at all <laughs> And he that, never takes a Schwarzenegger in a random role in this. That movie. would be fucking hilarious. But he never takes a bite of it, and that bothers me. <gasps> no, he I'm just hungry. sucks his meat stick, bro. And it's Ex- like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's kind of gay. <laughs> well, he's sucking on sucking a thin on meat, meat stick. stick there. We all know what he's got. Yeah. I know. At first, I was just, at and first I fact- thought it was a cigar, and then he took it out, and I'm like. No, that's fucking Slim Jim, dude. What the fuck? And that huge <laughs> fucking stogie that Tex had. It was like the size of his forearm. As someone who smokes cigars, who the fuck smokes a cigar with all the patches ripped off of it? Fucking idiot. I was like, that is bothering me. Oh, but that was one big ass stogie. I did I think that. Made me think, you remember that uh, Simpsons episode where it was the ripoff of Cape Fear with Sideshow Bob? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, sh- <laughs> they showed Homer smoking that big stogie in the fucking theater. <laughs> Yes, that's been a long one too. No, man, this is uh, it's all solid. Man. What else you got, Chad? Danny? Uh, the director Kevin Lewis credits Panos Cosmatos's Beyond the Black Rainbow movie as an inspiration for him. Uh, Panos worked with Nicolas Cage on the film Mandy in 2018. Mandy. Oh. Dude, I, I, I started. Mandy. I started watching Mandy today because I was telling the boys before you jumped in that I was just. I was feeling a Nick Cage kick, dude. You know what I mean? And then I ended up actually starting to watch one with him and uh, fucking Anakin Skywalker, dude, where they're knights. Never even heard of it. Yeah, oh, wow. like 30 minutes into it. Uh, I think that was called The Outcast or something like that. Hmm. So heard of it till now. It's all Tubi, man. Yeah. But no, on Mandy, re-watching the credits, I didn't know... Um, there's another famous producer on that, which is crazy. Bro, do you know who it is? Oh, fuck. Um, it's not it's not Ari Aster or any anyone. Nope. Or... Nope. He played, he uh I'm fucking even brave for it, dude. But we just watched him in the faculty. Fuck. Their main dude. Josh Hodge. Oh. No. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Really? Elijah Wood is dude. a producer on Mandy, dude. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I was just like, "What?" Like that just threw me really off. We we did a film called Come to Daddy, and he produced that um, on LCE back in the day. We did okay a film called Come to Daddy, and he say what Elijah Wood does is he, he produces a lot of fucking horror films now. And so that ever been since shit. he did um, Maniac, maybe Cody's. Yeah, pretty much from then onwards, he's had his own production company and started doing it, a man. lot of films. I'm and he, and he wants to do a nightmare on Elm Street. Dude, Elijah Wood as Freddy would be such a weird variation of Freddy, but I would totally accept I'd be down for that. I, I would I would watch that. Or would he get us Nick Cage? Because I'd also be down for Nick Cage as Freddy, dude, but that would be a way different Freddy as well. <laughs> yeah. I'd be, Bacon. I'd be probably more so down for Elijah uh, Wood just Kevin because he's Bacon. got these little creepy... Elijah Wood's got that weird little size to him. So, like, yeah. Got, like, yeah, would... look at him. <laughs> Freddy would be fun size. Yeah, look at him in fucking Sin City. Sin City, yep. Yeah, Dude, I yeah. love his role in City, Sin City, with his like fucking weird sharpened nails and shit like that. Although Nick Cage as Freddy, looking at him in Renfield, he definitely could pull it off. Yeah, well, but he might go a little too Nick just, Cagey with it. Yeah, and I love Nick Cage. Don't get me fucking wrong, but Nick Cage definitely has a certain like level he goes with with his roles. And for this movie, appreciative, love it, yeah. and I'm glad oh, he yes. does that. Okay, continue on. According to the props department, the character Kathy, played by Kaylee Cowan, chewed over 81 pieces of pink chewing gum throughout the course of filming. Oh, shit. Damn. That's got to hurt her jaw. A, well, something else probably would, too. But okay, that's horrible. At BBC. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I like that she was dressed as like some weird like 50s, but not 50s. Like I don't know what the fuck was going on with her look, but I dug it. So did I. She's just like uh <laughs> she's crazy. But she had the no. hair and everything done up like a pinup girl. But yeah, then she, like, yeah, she did. The lower half was more like modern. I don't know. Marilyn Monroe. I'm thinking more like a hair. almost more like a Harley Quinn kind of thing. 
Like see, Birds yeah. of Prey, Harley Quinn, not uh, Suicide Squad. I never saw Birds of Prey. I Me neither, but... I'll anyhow. take your word for it. Uh, let's see. Christian Del Grosso, Kai Cadillac, and Kaylee Cowan lived together for a month while filming. Okay. Yeah, get see. to know each other. Yeah, we're... I'm going to skip through some of these. Uh, actor Christian Del Grosso auditioned for the role of Evan and did a chemistry read for the role of Bobby until he was actually cast as the character Aaron. Jesus Christ. Some flip arounds. Yeah. Nicolas Cage was intrigued by the idea of making a movie without any speaking lines. I like that, dude. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like, This is even one where like, my old man likes Nick Cage like I do. And he can do horror sometimes. Like he doesn't want to do like gratuitous horror by any means. But I th- think this is one where if I just explain to him, like he doesn't talk, and he's like Clint Eastwood the whole time, where he just does like weird stares. I think I could sell him just on that point alone. Well, you were you were off screen when Chad Daddy said this was a mix of the Pell Rider and Boom. Yeah, yeah. What was the second one? Sorry, Killer Clowns. Killer Clowns. The Pell Rider meets Killer Clowns. This, this was, is yeah, what the director I, says. I, I could see that. Yeah. But it, that, yeah, dude, that was my first take was just like oh yeah hell yeah that's why i want to watch so, the second one so the whole thing of him not talking he did have lines originally i don't know if you have that in your in your notes chad daddy that he did have lines originally but they were so sparse and spread out that he wanted they, nicholas cage said you know what i'm gonna try to do this without talking and they were like fuck it do whatever man <laughs> but it works <laughs> it Fucking yeah. worth, yes, it does. dude. Yeah, like, and he said that it, it was he wanted to challenge himself by not saying anything and just doing everything with facial expressions to see if he could make make it work. And he fucking killed it. Dude, Hell yeah, like, he did. That was some of the funniest shit too. Is just seeing his facial expressions to whatever was happening. Mm-hmm. Like no dialogue. Like you didn't need the dialogue, dude. I mean, yeah, we still got dialogue from like shit talking animatronics. But anyways, Chad, Daddy. Despite the fact that Nicolas Cage's character name is never revealed, at around three minutes in, a military ID can be seen hanging from the interior rearview mirror of his car, suggesting a military past. The plates on the car are a reference to Cage's character, U.S. Army Ranger Cameron Poe from Con Air. Ooh. <laughs> what? what? What if that's the third movie? Nah, what if, say, what? What if what it's if Con Air, ever... then this, and then that fucking other one I just told you guys about? Oh. Uh, I gotta look this up, dude. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What was he in jail for in Con Air? Killing that bloke at the start of the movie that tried to pick up his chick. Oh, that's... It was self-defense. Okay. Or whatever it was. See, it's been because so Prisoners long. of Ghostland, it says, uh, a ruthless bank robber gets sprung from jail by a wealthy warlord whose adopted granddaughter's gone missing. So, okay. Oh, shit. Bill Mosley's in it? Oh, dude. I gotta fuck out. He's the governor. <laughs> Gene, is he from Texas? I have no idea. I, that movie's Con Shit. I haven't seen Con Air in a long time. Never Love Con Air. Wasn't Dave Chappelle in Con Air? Yes. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he was. Can I do? That was a young Dave Chappelle, too. Cyrus the Virus. Yes! Oh, man. Yeah, I haven't watched that movie in a solid 25 years. 20 years. Without you. I I win win. 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 Yeah, hold on. I had my hair long, like when my hair was longer one time, I walked outside I did and that. the fucking wind <laughs> and the wind hit my hair. And I was like, so then I walked back into our little breezeway and I fucking got my camera out and I fucking walked out. <laughs> <and> I- <laughs> when it pops up on my Facebook on, you know, awesome. on this day, I'll fucking repost did it. Did you like a little hair flick in the back? I did. I did. I was like, <laughs> gotta put that shit in slow-mo. <laughs> Oh, anything else, Chad Daddy? Uh, principal photography began in February 2020 for a month in various parts of Atlanta, Georgia. The crew used a desolated bowling alley in the Sprayberry Crossing Shopping Center in East Cobb, Marietta for the fictional Willy's Wonderland, setting up a huge base camp with housing facilities for the crew members due to the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Shitty time. Yeah, I like yeah, barely we'll remember it. I'm not going to lie. I had a solid time at home for two months getting government pay. I'm not going to lie. Like, I know a lot of other people had yeah. shitty times, but I had a good time. I worked. I, I did too. I, I, was I, I worked. I worked. Yeah. I wasn't essential, but I worked. We were considered essential because we did uh, medical supplies. 
yeah that's, that's how eventually i got thrown back to work because they were like we do service parts and some of these service parts go to ambulance so we're it's like fuck off dude you guys are jumping skips like we don't need to go back to work dude I the place, the so place i worked at before they do fucking night vision scopes and stuff like that and they were considered essential so I asked a friend of mine. If I mean, were... I do consider night vision scopes essential myself, but you know that's for that's for pervin activities, not for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> On June twenty fifth, twenty twenty one, Parsons confirmed that American Mythology Productions would release a comic book series serving as a prequel to the film. The four issues were released from October twenty twenty one to July twenty twenty two, and centers on the characters' backstories. Well, I, I need to look find that those. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Go to mycomicbook.com. You know what? I uh, when we when I'm going down to Monster Mania, I think there's a one one point where uh, me and who I'm going down with, we're gonna dip out and go check out Secret Stash. So maybe I'll see if they got them there. Sweet. Ooh, Secret Stash is a nice store. Yeah. I, he, my brother in law. Wait, you're gonna drive all the wait. You're gonna drive all the way up to Red Bank. Says it's only an hour away from there. You could hit it on the way down. It'd probably be easier. I don't care either way. I just want to hit it. <laughs> That's what he wants to hit that. I just want to smoke a blunt in front of the fucking secret stash. Okay. That's like a life fucking goal right there. Right I'll, there even dress the as, I'll even dress as silent Bob. I'd be Bob disappointed if he did. I mean, I'll say, I mean, I is it really that. that hard? I just got to flip my hat around and put my fucking. That's <laughs> <laughs> not hard at all. Chad Daddy. Willie's Wonderland was scheduled for worldwide theatrical release on October 30th, 2020, but was removed from the calendar due to the COVID pan- COVID-19 pandemic. It was announced on January 15th, 2021, that it would be available for digital distribution. It was eventually released through video on demand and received a limited theatrical release on February 12th, 2021. Due mm-hmm. to being delayed by the pandemic, it was released in Saudi Arabia on September 23rd, 2021. Wow. So they had quite a delay to get it out there. Say quite a jump. That sucks, dude. If they, if somebody had like somebody was having this with like some other double feature, I would totally go see this in theaters again, dude. This was fucking. Oh, I'd, I'd go see it in theaters regardless. Mm-hmm. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. If somebody was just having like some like, hey, we're gonna do this replay, or whatever. Fuck yeah, let's go. So the comic yeah, series only gives you the backstories of the animatronics. It's not that's the fine. janitor's that's backstory. Someone, yeah. That's no, that's all I figured it would be anyway. Yeah. I figured the janitor is kind of his own. Yeah, he doesn't need a backstory. We don't need Yeah. Him. But you can get yeah. uh, you can get them on Amazon, but they have issue one and two. I'm sure you can find them on eBay, but they have them like so you can watch them like or read them on the Kindle. Oh, the digital. I, I'm, yeah. I'm t- go to mycomicshop.com. I guarantee you can find them. Word. Mm. Scoops right. doing that right now. That's and then finally, in an interview, Geo Parsons stated he had an idea for a sequel if the film got enough support. In February of 2021, it was announced that a sequel was being actively discussed. Sweet. Man, COVID fucked this movie, dude, because this movie definitely would have done way better had it mm-hmm. actually got a solid release. Yep. We would have had the, you would have had the sequel already. Would have, I think it would have been out. And I feel like that's where your sequel would have ended where what we already discussed, man. Like you could easily just have the doll still survive or the, the pixie dancer, whatever the fuck. And she do. brings everybody back. Yeah. Right. Like she rebuilds them somehow and then yeah. just be like, okay, that works. Like and he's just like I got my pop and I'm ready to go. But would you no, bring back? I, the even, I don't think you. No, I don't think you no. would see Nick Nick Cage. So this movie and that other movie we discussed, and maybe another one, or whatever. He is just that character through those three movies. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> he's his own weird little character. That's it. I. But you know, the what would second be- one? Maybe you'd have like the girl come back and have her take charge, or you just have all new people. So yeah, here's here's how I would end that with you let the animatronics win that one. OK, they are successful at whatever the fuck it is they wanted to do. Then at the very, very end, after the credits end credit scene, all you hear is vroom, vroom, and then you see Nick Cage fucking put his glasses on. So speaking, him of, Nick Cage's, gla- speaking of Nick Cage's glasses. Hmm. How did he see the reflection of the explosion from their the mirror. car? The, no. The, the mirror. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Shut up. It was the no. rear view mirror. It was way too far away. <laughs> it was anyway. the rear view mirror. That shit was like. I a, know he, that was stupid, but it was it the It looked like mirror. he turned around to look at it. it I know. So crazy. But we're just going with it. it was the rear view mirror. 
I want to do that too, but they went way too ham with that effect. Yeah, where I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And that was like in front I was, of the windshield. Man, I was, was hoping not miles away to bring that up. No, dude, how could I not? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Chad, Daddy, for those behind the scenes, Holly. My, my pleasure. Uh fucking a. Okay, boys, what format did we watch this shit out? To me, Stan Freevee. Chad, Daddy? yo ho ho, Pirates Life for me. Really? Hulu. I've had it downloaded a long time. Oh no shit! Wow, so we all have different. Like, nice. I was gonna watch it yeah. on. Fr- I started it- watching it on Freevee. But there was way too many fucking commercials. That's why I went with Hulu, man. Because I was that just like, lasted no, was, was good. way too long. It was either that or I watched it on Tubi, but my Tubi is like not working for some reason. I don't know why. What? I love my Tubi, dude. That's dude, my Tubi wasn't working the other night either. That's funny. Like it wasn't really? bringing up like it was bringing up hardly any movies. Nothing. Now Tubi's it's fine now. Hmm. Weird. I'm guessing they're updating the app or something. I hope so. Maybe. Uh, okay. Douche of the film. I'm going the whole. Sure. I'm going the townspeople. The dude. town, yeah, yeah. I'm going the townspeople. Yeah. And then come, yeah, the sheriff. They, the, they, the townspeople, everybody. literally have the power to end that. Except for the poor, except for the poor deputy. He he wanted to end it. He's he wanted. Well, to end and it. here's the deputy, and, and he's the newbie. He doesn't even know what's going on, so he doesn't even count. So and here's I'm my in, thing. By all means, Thanks, he Jeff. single-handedly beat the shit out of those fucking animatronics. Why couldn't you just fucking blast them with a fucking shotgun and That's what I'm saying, it? dude. There's no way they couldn't have where they could have went in with a SWAT team or even when they're all standing there on the stage, dismantle them with a fucking chainsaw. Yep. Do whatever you gotta fucking do. Wouldn't it be that goddamn hard? They're not even fighting yet at this fucking point. You know? Yep. Like, Shit, I don't... Just throw some water on them and watch them short circle. Now, well, it let would be... girl at the start of the film burn the fucking joint down. Yeah, could, yeah. Unless, been too. unless, and we didn't get any of this, but it would have been cool if they maybe explained that. Well, we tried to dismantle him one time, but then they actually all still like regenerated back. To, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Maybe yeah. explain why they wouldn't do it instead of just like bitch out. They're like, oh, well, we made a deal with them. It's like, you didn't even fucking try to fight them, dude. Like, what the fuck? See, see <laughs> the funny part about that would have been like, we tried dismantling him. He comes in, just rips him to shreds. It's like, oh, so that's how you do it. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously the doubled up caffeine. That's what you really need. That was the trigger. Power sure. punch. Power punch. Um, but yeah, the, this these town folks. Not that we had a lot of them, but they reminded me of the town folks in like Hot Fuzz. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's for the, it's for the greater yes. good. It's for oh, the, the greater, greater good. good. That's all it is. Yarp. Yarp. Narp. Yarp. Dude, I say narp all the time and Me, nobody, nobody fucking gets, gets that reference. And <laughs> off, dude. Well, I get fucking weird looks and I'm like, so narp? And I just kept looking at me. Oh, it makes me so mad. And then like every once in a while, if somebody says that, I'll be like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Instantly. All right. Favorite kill, boys. I'm sitting here looking at my list trying to figure it out. Damn, A lot so of them. I'm, I'm going with, well, it actually answers another question, but I'm going with the gorilla in the bathroom. Yep. I already said it. That's mine, hands down. I'm I'm going with the sheriff. Ooh, sheriff is good. She got yeah, a I like that. straight up what would you call that? Happening? <laughs> I don't even know. The happening. <laughs> the happening. I just, I, sorry, I just remembered something. You know that scene where they do the flashback scene and the little fat kid goes up to grope the breasts of the Oh man, yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> like, you want to fuck great. daddy? <laughs> my fat ass, if that Sorry, was my just, fat ass, I'd have uh, been like, yeah, let's yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Yeah. No, I'm a, uh, fuck, what do I have? I think I had maybe the strobe light effect in that kill scene where they kept popping up. It was like a strobe light and some Was that the. Um, it, was, it was the nerd the looking. Right? The nerdy black uh, it, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, who killed effect. him? Th- th- there was two of them. There was it the was theory. The, it was the doll and the alligator, wasn't it? Yeah. Or was yeah. It the uh, yes. And they yeah. killed him no, in the foam pit. Was it the alligator or was it the turtle? Maybe it was the turtle. Oh, it might have been the turtle. I can't remember. I know, I know it was the fairy shield. Oh, really? um... Yeah. But that was like they killed him in the foam pit, right? Like because they were chasing him all around and then like, she like crawled down on the wall to get him. Yes. Um, yeah, I think so. Because she just, as soon as the strobe light goes out and comes back on, it's like appears behind him. And yep. then, then they, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a boys. What else you got? 
Yeah. I'm going to give it to the Willy Weasel just because I like the fact that he got beaten to death by Nicolas Cage's sack of pop cans. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised. I'm personally surprised Cage sacrificed his soda. Like, I feel like he could have put in any other weight in that bag. It would have been fine. But the fact he did it with the caffeine, I feel like, he, I don't know. He had a vendetta. He, at that point. he knew those cans that was were personal to the job. And I love the stare downs that he had with the animatronics after he killed one of them. Like he would always just stare down Willie after the fact. <laughs> I don't know why. Like that was, was he was waiting crazy. for that final boss. It was a fucking it was, dude. Fight. It was a final what? boss. This fight. was a fucking video game, bro. Oh, yes. mm-hmm. You gotta get your health thing recharged. All right, we're yeah. level up in your safe That's room. Exactly what the fuck this is. Go was. back out. Let's fucking do this shit. Shh, and it's also know. a simulator because it's a cleaning simulator, so it's pressure water. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Shit, I want right. this as a game now. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's called Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> but there's no cleaning in that game. I mean, you can make it. Just make the Willy's Wonderland game, though. All right. Uh, did we all get favorite kill? Mm-hmm. All righty. Best scene, boys. The bathroom. There's scene. a lot of good ones, man. The, the bathroom scene for me is just because he got it pristine. And he pinball gets dancing scene. Fun. The pinball dancing machine is pure, <laughs> that is pure peak Nick Cage. Yeah, that's my uh, scene. Ah, ooh, Brody, what do you got, buddy? I think I just said it before. The fat kid. <laughs> <laughs> what a what fat a fat boy. Boy. <laughs> Oh for man! Me, for me, my favorite scene—it's—it's it's gotta be the scene where he and the main girl were getting ready to fight the fucking chameleon. His watch goes off. <laughs> his watch goes off. He just hands the switchblade oh, to her and walks off. And has God break. damn it! That was a good. One that too. is a great Fuck. fucking scene. That was oh, damn fantastic. I think honestly, you know what? One of my because honestly, you, you guys have all good choices, and I could agree with almost either any one of you. I'm going to go with kind of a random one. Maybe you wouldn't even think of it, but I like when he's actually breaks out of his cuffs and takes out those two. And then he goes out to dump them in the trash and the sheriff's just like, what the fuck? And he just <laughs> he looks at her and movie. nods and then fucking he waves to her. I was, yeah. hoping he was, I was hoping he was going to flip her off. <clears throat> no, I <laughs> like that. He doesn't do that. I like that. He's like as aggressive as he is when he's fighting and shit. Like he's not like, he doesn't, he's not like a dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just silent but no i'm gonna go with that one that was uh that made me right. everything solid all right uh worst moment or scene <sighs> the sex scene i'll give you that yeah them I'll titties would have been out dude yeah i'm just yeah. saying the titties would have been out it would have been the first yeah. thing I okay Take yeah no, I, I hate clothes on sex scenes they're, they're now takes me out of it i'm not gonna completely sh- I'll, I'll, I'll say that it was the worst <laughs> scene not just because all, all the other ones are so awesome. But I still did like that scene with the 360 camera and how you do the uh, crack kind of getting like a little bit closer and like peeping out a little bit more as every time they circle. Fucking crocodile dentist. But it did seem to go a little longer than in necessary. Yeah. Well, let's but I do do a like show, how baby. I was going to say, I like how he's like during the time, like, yo, bitch, I'm. Come on, don't worry about the crocodile. Let him stay over there and watch. No, but then at that, it's like, you know where you're at. You know what the fuck happens there. Right. They just, know the yeah. animatronics are killing, they can kill motherfuckers. Yeah. And then this bitch is like, yo, you know what? I knew a bunch of kids got killed in this room, but I want to fuck. But it's so hot. <laughs> is it weird that it's turning me on? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is. You know what? I literally said I'm that to the TV. Mad. I'm like, yeah, it fucking is. A little bit like and you know it's, that's it's the whole shit. it's the whole excitement and the danger that gets people that's some on shit that yeah. mel would I, I, do that is how we would have died if we were in that fucking movie did you look at this right mel, now watching it you're like that's you no yeah exactly. <laughs> because she'd be like, oh my god i was so much gore and blah 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 let's have sex god damn it we're gonna die now like, god damn it woman she's sitting here on the floor going yeah <laughs> <laughs> no lies no lies told yeah all right well uh Close, Brody, did you say yours? Sex. Oh, um, fucking sorry. I'll just say the sheriff and the girl at the start of the film when she cable ties it to the fucking trailer. That was yeah. That was about that. I know. Fucking like weird. Weird. Well, I think I think it's you know they did that because it's not the first time that she's tried to burn down the. Why not let her fucking do it? 
because they what made a deal. She had that pact. They made a deal, and if, if the fire didn't kill them, then they were all fucked. Regardless. All they have to do is sit there and surround it and watch the fire burn until they know everything's down, and then throw some more fire on the fire. Like, you don't know I mean just the fucking... Well, reason. we know that, but these are simple town folk. I guess, that's true. They don't have them internets. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> they didn't have the internet. Internets never came I here. think that was a lie. I think that was a complete fucking bullshit lie. I, don't, I think the I ATM agree. was a setup because obviously that whole thing was a setup. Yeah. Yeah. I did like the scene though where they were showing flashbacks of them doing that through the years. Yeah. Because they actually showed a full family and you're just like, oh man, that's that is pretty fucked up if you think of like thinking the non comedy aspect of it. Like, oh yeah. damn. That's but, yeah, the, that but the girl lived. No, the girl lived because that was Yeah, but was that family dark. her family? They showed it in the when there was the yeah. far pan shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah. I thought it was a little boy in that one. So I just kind of like but I also liked how uh our dude who owned it tax like his mustache was like changed throughout the fucking years mm-hmm. <laughs> that sweet little pencil <laughs> one. Even, oh yeah 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 okay i did notice that he was doug dimidone owner of Dim- dimsdale dimidone, Dim- dimidone. <laughs> all righty boys opening scene hook you in yeah, yeah i know i, I mean, mean it's just many 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 more. Well, no, those two people that were just like, oh, sorry, yeah, the two yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, then yeah, 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 definitely. And then yeah. the girl gets, uh, you don't see her get killed, but you see blood splatter. So like, no. you're like, okay, yeah. something happened. So yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, that's a solid yes. Most attractive character. I'm going the with the main the girl. The yeah, the one right here on the side next to Bobby. Yeah, right here. Yeah, no, I gotta give. I gotta, I gotta give to the blonde. She looks like the the whole time. I honestly expected it to be the girl that sings Friday because that's who she Friday, looks like to me. Friday, and I, I just couldn't cry. get it out of my head. I'm going the blonde though. I don't yes, know what I, it was. I would, but you know something? She not topless sex. Sorry, right. I'll tell y'all. I don't care. I I'll don't tell care. y'all after the movie or after the show why I can't pick the blonde chick. Actually, I'll tell y'all in the chat because I can't okay. say it out loud. I mean, you can. No, I, mean, I cannot. <laughs> Seems like I'm gonna get hit. You probably we like will get canceled. No. Oh, no. we will get canceled. Oh boy. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, well, no, no, she no. was. She looked like she should have been in. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's a hot dog in a hallway situation, man. <laughs> <baby. laughs> this is what it is, right here. There's two. <laughs> I'd have to move side to side. <laughs> I followed Sue in the past, and it's I've heard positive things. So I'm, whatever, <laughs> fucking right, bro. Fucking oh, right. Oh fuck! All right. Um, let's going, see. Going to hell. Yeah. Did the score set the mood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It seemed like action, kind of actiony and fast-paced action. Yep. Mm-hmm. And like the cheesy, like fucking type of music you'd hear in like a Chuck E. Cheese. Yep. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Best song. Freebird. Freebird. Yeah. No, I'm going with the chicken song that the weasel sings. Ooh. That was, 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 <laughs> was, was, was going to be my pick until I actually heard Freebird at the end. I'm actually going to go with Willie's Wonderland. The, uh, the Willie's Wonderland song itself. Not the birthday song. The other one. Is that the pinball machine saint? I think so one of them uh, yeah I'm trying to remember yeah because yeah, it's when it's like actually showing the like the innards of the machine and everything yeah. you see yeah. all the different oh, animals yes. and stuff no Freebird's always a good one too though but the problem Freebird. is i hear Freebird and i'm just like i, was, I need to watch was, fucking goddamn rejects dude yeah. Like, yeah i was just gonna say like i, I like yeah. free bird but i'm like eh, the chicken song the chicken song was solid <laughs> oh, yeah. and i liked it too because you know the, it's a weasel singing about eating chicken it's, like, it. it's perfect like all right, favorite character, the janitor. The janitor. <laughs> Fucking all day, uh, the janitor. It's not even a hard one. Yeah. Followed up by Doug Dimidone, dude. For some reason, I <laughs> eating his blubber nuggets. Fucking right, dude. Well, I just like that he had the uh, the horns on the car, man. You know, yeah, <laughs> that's some old school shit right there. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's such a fucking like Texan fucking cliche. I've never. Ever. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm lying. I have. That's I like. Have. Also, I was that's like. Say, wait a minute. I I'll say have. first of all, Texas is a big state. Ski, 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 I know. You know I know. But that's also like Texas always being in like sapia color. Like Texas is not sapia. Or Mexico. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like where's the West sapia Texas filter? Is. West Texas is. 
there's there's just a filter you drive into and you're like, yeah, it is. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm in Odessa now. God damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. Was it scary? No. 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 Mm. However, if you were a kid who was into Five Nights and you watched this, it maybe? would be yeah. I think so. Could maybe. Yeah. It's hard to it's hard to tell on that one. Like I feel like watching this as a kid, dude, I would have loved it, but we're all I probably would have. I criteria. definitely would have been the kid like, yeah. yo, this is fucking great. Charlie oh, loved it. That's all that matters. Okay. Well, Does go. it hold up today? I don't even know why I'm asking. I think it holds question. up better yeah. now than it did when it came out. Ooh. Yes. You know what? I like that take because you actually did see it when it first came mm-hmm. out. And now that it's got a little competition in the market, I I could see where you're saying mm-hmm. might come off a little better. Okay. How is the acting? Fucking it was great. Hit or miss. <laughs> Wonderful. The, the kids, the kids, some of the bad. For the kids bad. Is bad. But I feel like it was on purpose. I feel like it was a sense. choice. Well, there's, made... there's supposed to be dumb kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it just feels more Nicholas Cage is acting. <sighs> Chef's yep. kiss. No. Everybody's just sleepy this episode. Oh uh, yeah. I'd... Yeah, I'm I'm getting ready for bed. <laughs> Not my me, damn, I got my punch. My yep, damn I'm cat. Good. When when the cat sleeps at my feet of the bed, I, I just cannot get a good night's sleep. So let's try most of the night trying not to kick her in the head. Bro. See, I I'm had, sorry. That that happened. I had three and I had one last night jump up and like you know your how you make your little leg loop there. Yeah. Well, for some reason, she started making biscuits on my nuts, and I'm like, "Oh my fucking god, dude! Like, Don't do that!" <laughs> that was a wake up, dude. That was fucking like, oh. dude, she's a fucking cat too, man. She's like 12 pounds, 13 pounds, dude. She's got some fucking weight. I call her Big Tuna. Big tuna. <laughs> All right, dude. She walks around the house. She thuds. She's a cat. <laughs> first time it scared the shit out of the first time when we first got her i was home alone dude i was in the basement and i hear something walk i'm like who the fuck is upstairs is the fucking cat dude <laughs> <laughs> right. bumps around like godzilla i love it oh, she does dude she's got that <sighs> fucking swaddle going for all right stop <laughs> <laughs> do we like the cinematography yeah, yeah, yeah. i think it's solid yeah. dude no, yep. it's 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 colorful. It's also got some good camera angles. It's definitely, and it's also you handheld. It actually feels good. We we and we complimented Shaky Cam. Yeah. There's one that did it right. Which is something that we. There's don't only been a few do. that we've actually complimented on. I think one of yeah. the other ones was um, oh, it was that Christmas movie, the reboot, the 2012 one, uh, Silent, Silent Night. Night. Silent Night. Yeah, that was pretty solid. Okay, did we like the premise? <sighs> Loved it. Yes. Yeah. Hey, that oh, was great. Yeah. Give us more. Give us more. You could. You sold me on the premise, and then you made it that much better that you made uh, Cage's character like not talkative at all. Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. just a whole another layer of just greatness. Yeah. Was the climax satisfying? Fuck oh, yeah, dude! Yeah. Movie was that. Beats the yeah. shit out of that weasel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me on the weekend. That's right. Making <laughs> <laughs> the crap out of that wheel. <laughs> all right, boys. Uh, I'm just going to say we're probably all going to rewind this motherfucker. Right? Rewind it. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yeah, I don't even have... If you want to give me a sequel, I'm also going to say, go right ahead. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Will it be as good? Probably not, but I'm down. I, watch I, like it. I, I don't think Nick Cage would be in it again, like we said before. So I don't know. You, he... He doesn't really seem to say no to much. Well, I mean, just, unless he and, produced, he produced, he threw his money into this movie because he liked the premise. So well, was maybe gonna, unless it was good said, enough. If, like you said earlier, where it was like, yo, we're not going to do a sequel. We're going to do three, but don't announce it as three, but just bring him back at the end of the second one. So we know we're getting that like yep. climactic, you know. Okay. Here's an idea. Yeah, for, for, here's an idea for a sequel. Instead of Willie's Wonderland being like a like a little theme restaurant like that, it's like a whole big fucking amusement chain. park, like oh. an amusement park uh, with kids trapped in it. And Nicholas Cage comes in rolling in with his crew, but it's the crew from uh, fucking Gone in sixty seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're gonna get the fucking juggernaut. All right. Uh, 
I was just watching like, like, seconds oh, in for Adam, you, know, you know what would be great is because he killed that host body, it transfers to the Chuck amusement e. park host body franchise. That'd be cool. Actually, that would be nice. That would so I know I heard you say something when I was walking away uh in your show notes chair. I'm sorry, not show notes in behind the scenes. And you were saying originally it was called Wally's. Mm-hmm. Was that was there like licensing because of like uh Wally World? Was it yeah, Wally I, World from vacation? That's I was wondering I was that. I couldn't I couldn't confirm that, but I I was wondering that. That was my first thought too. Okay. That was my could, like that was the first thing that instantly popped in my head. I was like, oh okay, John Candy at Wally World. Like, okay. You could probably do for a sequel, like how the, like this franchise is set up somewhere else, like uh, Willie's Wonderland, say in Florida, and because a cult was behind this one, that's not to say there wasn't a cult behind that one taking over, you know, various okay. Willie Wonderlands around the states. Then so they like kill Willy's themselves. So like Willie's Wonderland can be a front for all these cults, then. Pretty much, yeah. And then that, like that's that. their way of getting in kids. And then you know they all drink the punch or whatever it is. They kill themselves. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that could work. Could look into that direction, maybe. Secret. Just party multiple party. cults. Nicholas Cage, if you're listening somehow, um, listen. Mm-hmm. He may you never know. Uh, hey, if he's all right. listening, I just want to say I love you, man. Fucking right. Bro. <laughs> I- I'm becoming a fan much more now. Put us in the sequel. Love it. Kill us okay, all boys. Too. Yeah, right. I f- hey, man. Even if I'm like in the. Even if like I'm a quick flashback or whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit, dude. That's all I gotta be. All right, boys, let's rate this shit, Chad Daddy, out of five haunted mm. animatronics. What are you giving it? Come back to me. I'm still stewing here. Bobby. Oh god. Four point four. Four point four. All right. Scuba. I have nothing anything bad to say at all about this film. And for me, it's a Cinco. Ooh. Solid five animatronics across the board. All right. I had to like hey. count my head Spanish. I'm like, that is <laughs> he had his digits up, man. Because yeah, I, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew I was a bunch of, you know, I was yeah, you thought he thought you were going people. for a high five or something, apparently. Well, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I can count up to my 20s in Spanish. I'm good, dude. Uh, good. Brody, um, I'm gonna go 4.2. 4.2. All right. Chad, Daddy, back to you, homie. I'll give it a four and a half. Four and a half. And yeah, you know what? The, I'm the, actually, the, I'm ready to naked the sex. The non naked sex scene takes it down a notch. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm also going to four and a half. Uh, I'll agree with the titties part, but dude, it's still a fucking solid ass movie. It was. It was. I can almost feel like I should go a little higher, but that's okay. All right, so we have a 4.52, so a 4.5 for 2021's Willy's Wonderland. Yes. Solid, dude. I would totally suggest anybody that is looking for a good movie that you don't have to think about, if you haven't watched this, go watch this movie. This is just one where Brody said it earlier. It's a popcorn flick. Yep. You literally just put it on, sit back, fucking enjoy the ride, or hopefully enjoy the ride. What's up, baby Charlie? How are you? Charlie. Oh, there she Hello. Is. So cute. She, she uh, had, oh, sorry. just recently discovered her binky. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Chad, Daddy, what are we covering next week, homie? Next week, we're going to be watching one of my favorite movies that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid and made me afraid to fall asleep. Okay. The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh, yes. shit. Oh. Are you there? Hell yeah. Nice. Let me uh, remake. That is. Uh, we will be doing Body Snatchers, the 90s movie, but that won't be hitting until May. Yes. Um, yes. Well, then here, I'll well, I wanted to put a nice little now. bit of distance between them. That's yeah. why. So I'll tell you guys now, I will not be here next Monday. I will be on vacation in Florida, but I will have a video for you for the episode. And I'll make sure the score is fucking. Yeah, don't forget the score. This yeah, don't time. forget the fucking score, please. <laughs> All right. Good sound. Uh, so Invasion of the Body Snatchers 1978 can be found on Amazon Prime. If you subscribe, Tubi, of course, boom, Pluto. And pretty much anywhere else, Roku, all that good shit. So you can pretty much find that really easy everywhere. We get a little Jeff Goldblum action next week. Fuck yeah. Yes, we do. 
<clears throat> that's awesome, dude. I haven't watched that in a solid minute. So thank you. Some very surprising, spots. some very surprising PG titties. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only other time you usually see PG titties is if you're watching like Howard the Duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. Duck titties. Duck titties in the first three minutes of the movie. Thank you, Marvel. <laughs> 80s Marvel was off the fucking chain, dude. It was way different. <laughs> it was. Holy shit. Alrighty. Uh boys, is there anything nerdy to discuss this week? I'm looking now. See if there's... I don't think I have anything. There's a new Godzilla trailer that came out. I don't know if anybody saw that. It was pretty solid. I would say you go check that out. Uh, what else we got? I have a feeling after the Academy Awards are over is when Toho is going to announce the uh, physical release for Minus One. God damn it. I need that shit, dude. I need it. Same. I do so bad. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm so tempted to just torrent it, but I'm like, no, I don't want to steal from Toho. I can't mm-hmm. do that. No, don't do that. Yeah, no. It's a masterpiece. Um, we did mention it at the beginning of the show. I'll re-mention it now. Brody actually brought it up. But there's a new, we talked about it a few months ago, actually, but the trailer's finally out for a new creature feature called Sting. Yeah. So if you got arachnophobia in itself, uh, you might not want to watch that trailer. But <laughs> it looks pretty fun. Um, that's what I'm going to say. So go check that out. That's a pretty sweet one. Hell yeah. Uh, when do I watch that fucking trailer? I kept getting little itches. <laughs> and yeah, dude. Uh, you know what it is? I, I think it's the sound design because I swear mm-hmm. to God I was doing the same thing because they do that little like scurrying sound. And oh my God! Hear oh. That, it's like a fucking trigger, bro. And you're just like, yes. Oh. No, I feel that for sure. Um. Oh, obviously we know uh, X Men. Did we talk about that last week? X Men '97 trailer dropped. I don't think I did. They, did. they okay, it might have been my girl. It, it, it might have been through this week since the last episode. So yeah, that dropped. Uh, some of the voice actors have returned. Well, the some Wolverine not. voice actor is the same actor, and he sounds nothing like he did in well, the that's 90s. Well, like 36. I, I know mean, it is. They also gave him literally, like, what, three words to say in the trailer, and it wasn't really, like, an aggressive scene or anything like that. So you need to have him in a fight scene where he's saying, I just, Bob. I I, like I, just from the trailer, I... The animation, I mean... The animation looks like Avatar to me. It Which looks like a bad thing. Oh, oh shit! Dude. You just reminded me, guys. When I watched Texas Chainsaw, I I watched that because I started watching the uh, animated Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths movie. Nice. Fuck yeah! It's fucking terrible. Wait, which one is that? New one? one? The one that just came New out? One. Yeah, it's horrible. Oh, I it's dumb. What the whole what I saw of it is just the Flash. He's like running. And he's just like constantly flashing back to different things, like meeting the crime syndicate on Earth three or whatever. It's just, it's not the crisis on Infinite Earths that I know. Damn, weird. I didn't it, even know it's really weird. Like I, I didn't, I didn't get a chance. I didn't give it a chance to finish. I just thought, and it just, just didn't interest me. Yeah. And the animation is terrible. And it's a part one, huh? Mm-hmm. But part one go, of three, I think. Going back to X Men ninety seven. They, you know, Disney's doing this whole woke thing now, and I was hoping they wouldn't do that. I was wondering if you were going to bring this shit up, but I'm glad I was hoping they wouldn't do it with the fucking cartoon. And, you know, fucking did. And they did. They made fucking Morph non binary. Like, come on. Morph was fucking Wolverine's best bro. Like, you know what bothers me about that? And that's, I guess people can argue, but it's like, okay, sake of argument. He still is a dude, and they usually don't get their mutant powers till puberty anyway. So just because he can fucking morph into shit doesn't mean that would all of a sudden be like, oh, I'm this. And they changed the complete look of him. That's what I don't well, like. But they make him look they, fucking Voldemort, dude. But and they like, did what? that in the comics. That's, yeah, yeah they that's how they look from the, the comics. Yeah. In the Age of Apocalypse, and then uh, yeah, but that was the newer the style. That's still not the '97. No, I know, and I that's know, what but... pisses me off. If you're gonna call the shit X Men '97, stick to fucking '97. But you know, like... but I mean, well, I mean, Age of Apocalypse came out in the '90s, so I'm cool with that. The fact that they have to label it that way is what kind of that's irks the Disney me. dude. That's yeah, the Disney. That, that's what irks me. And then the way they massacred Rogue, <laughs> Rogue was <laughs> fucking. Curvy, <laughs> beautiful, and now she is pancake wow. ass. Now she's Brie Larson. Her, no, she is not Brie Larson. She is Taylor Swift. They fucking wow. Brie Larson has girl. a pancake ass too, man. Have you seen uh, Taylor Swift's is worse though? Taylor Swift's is way worse than Brie Larson's. Uh, it, it is, but 
they just they made some changes that didn't need to fucking be made and i get it cool we're not in the same age that we were back in the 90s but it's a fucking comic but book don't call it an actual continuation mm-hmm. of that show if you're gonna if change you are shit. changing shit up then it is not a continuation yep. anymore the funny thing is though you mentioned how bad the yeah. animation is if you remember the last half dozen episodes of the they series were shitty they were yeah. horrible it was anime yeah. style and it was they looked like shit because they yeah they changed it over and they cheaped it up they didn't even put a good budget to it and i have a fear that we are not going to hear wolverine call gambit any of those Cajun terms that we heard him call him in the 90s like he's not going to call him gumbo or you know <laughs> they weren't even bad though dude i know they weren't bad but it's a fucking we're in a woke it's period fucking, they're not it, it's, it's hyper woke now, though, so. yeah and, and I, that's that's what pisses me off because that that dynamic between Wolverine and Gambit was fucking. Oh, and here's another thing. Speaking of that, of Gambit and the trailer was fucking great, right? But you see mm-hmm. Wolverine running in front of Gambit, right? And Gambit yep. charged up Wolverine's claws. That shit's. You just turned his claws into a bomb. He's gonna fucking blow up, and his hands are gonna look like fucking what's his name from Trump and Thunder. Well, it's always about energy transference with his power. So all yeah. it would have to be is if he slices. I'm assuming he's going up against a sentinel. This is just me guessing. But like, as soon as he would slice into that dude, like I would assume, like the power would actually like it'd almost be like a fucking like punch, like a sonic punch almost. A bomb. He's fucking. Hands I thought that. Blow up. You know what? I he thought charged that moment, his whole skeleton. Those claws <laughs> are part of his skeleton. He just charged Wolverine's whole fucking skeleton. Personally, I thought that moment was the coolest moment of the trailer. I was just like, oh, that was fucking sick. Well, I did too but, until I sat there and thought about it, and I'm like. Gambit, you son of a bitch, you're gonna blow up Wolverine. No, man, because what if he also okay, let's take uh Marvel versus Capcom style Wolverine there. Yeah, he fucking can throw like Nick's fucking energy pulses, shoot, right? Shoot. So, so why can't he just do that? And just be like, <laughs> like just shoot his own. I love how Charlie's just sitting there like she knows what's going on here. She's like, yeah. I'm trying to think what else there was uh, there was something on nerdy i wanted to bring up and i didn't just brain i didn't out. find too but much yeah time. i'm excited for it but after seeing so, like i was so stoked because mm. that i fucking loved x-men and now i'm, I'm just still gonna, gonna like, watch it uh, I'm, I'm still, still gonna, gonna watch it. it i'm still gonna watch it and i'm still gonna bitch about it and i'm probably still gonna like it somewhat but i'm sure dude, i hope we like it i hope it's not complete shit or it's like, like seeing magneto again with the long hair and just yeah. I like that Magneto, you know, dude. Yeah. Like jacked ass fucking mm-hmm. Magneto, you know, dude. You're just like, yep. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? This is just a little bitch. It's not even real. It is kind of nerdy, but unfortunately, none of us can fucking get it anyways. So, like, being Americans, we're we're used to eating a lot of shitty fatty foods that are yeah. bad. Mm-hmm. We love it, right? Yeah, dude. Japan somehow fucking out American dust, dude. And it pisses me off. Uh, so their Domino's has a volcano nacho cheese pizza now, and we mm. don't fucking have that. I saw that shit on TikTok. Want yeah. it, dude? I want what? It. Yeah. Yeah. So they make a pizza, but they make a little volcano of like mm. some kind of cheese, so you can just rip it and then dunk your pizza in the cheese and just be that much fatter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? I want that now. Right, dude. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Not Dom- I'm, I'm not a Domino's fan, but I want that. Bro, I saw the thing for that as I was picking up Domino's. I'm like, why the fuck didn't we get that? Well, that's because we don't have it. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> so, and, and, and other fat kid news. Uh, Reese's, I love fat kid news. Let's do Reese's this. Puffs. If you eat Reese's Puffs and you are a fan Reese's of Puffs. Dragon Ball Z, they have oh, the, special yeah. the special edition Dragon Ball Z Reese's Puff cereals. Ooh, which are yeah. apparently really hard to find. Surprise. I think they're only fans of too, right? Speaking Sam's of fact, yep. it's time for a Reese's out of my <laughs> no, I, am, I am due for a trip to Sam's Club. I might have to go look for it. Do it up, dude. Let's see. Bro, we're going um, to Hershey later this year. You have no idea how much fun. Just, just to give you guys a heads up, we are at the two hour mark plus. So yeah. So you know what? Oh, yeah. At that, I think we can call it because not seeing it's anything time, else. It's time, to, so. it's time to go get fat. Fucking right, dude. Chad, Daddy, you want to start us off on? Sure, this is your dark lord of knowledge, your Chad Daddy, way down yonder in the Chattahoochee, saying, uh, come back next week and uh, don't fall asleep. Mm-hmm. This is your killing machine, Bobby Amon, saying, they will see you next week, and so will I for a little bit. Enjoy Invasions of the Body Snatchers, and uh, get all that Jeff Goldblum cheese, baby. Ooh. 
This is your host with the Ghost Prince of the Paranormal, Lord Scuba Cabra, saying, <laughs> see you next week. And Charlie says bye to She does. She's oh, like, give, me glasses. Glasses. give me those glasses. This is your DKB all the way from the land down under. See, oh, I can't even fucking speak. I'm that tired. <laughs> You're good. I'll just, I'll, at the end of the day, I'll just catch you motherfuckers next week. <laughs> thank you once again for having me on the show. It's been thank you for coming. Yeah, we, we will we always have, have you. Me. Love it. Please. And I hope you get an amazing snooze today. Yes. Uh, yes. Nana naps are on the cards. Fucking right, dude. And I am your not so mean fluff master supreme, Big Johnny D, saying once again, thank you, Gorehounds, for joining us for another fantastic episode. Like Chad Daddy said, catch us next week for Invasion of the Body Snatchers. As also, you can reach us out on Instagram at Goran Moore Podcast, or you can hit us up email wise at gnmpod at gmail.com. If you got some, uh, you know, anything you want to say, tell us we suck, tell us uh, maybe something you want us to review, whatever. And other than that, stay fresh, cheese bags. Play with Willie's Willie. Like that thing. Willie's Weasel. Like that thing. Willie's Weasel. Weasel. Willie Dick. Weasel. Ooh, fuzzy. <laughs>